I think that works. What, no, I'm, no I'm penis? Come on, lollipop. Sorry, I'm typing a thing out. He's typing a thing. I'm Let's doing get... I'm doing tippy tappy things on my clicky clacky. Tippity tappity clickety clackities. As it's is like tradition. you finally got your voice back and you're not even using it for the greater good. Hello? The greater good. Shot it. There he is. Alright. Uh hi. Happy what's today? Tuesday. I've been unemployed two days and I don't I've already forgotten what day it is. Um hello Wisty and not Liz. Bad. And Script Warrior, thanks again, buddy, for stopping by and for resubbing for 16 months. Holy shit. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday, uh, and I'm going to suck at video games tonight. Uh, and I mean that quite literally because I'm going to be playing some more Vacuum Warrior and just hanging out and chilling out for a while. I don't know what uh, what else we're doing. Princess. All right, man. Seems like you've earned a chill. No. And Elena's here, too. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to think that I have. I'd like to think so. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I am I started cleaning up the office a little bit more today, rearranging some things, getting some things out in the recycling, stuff like hey. that. So, I see a box full of things. What? What, that box? This box full of things over here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not unlike the box that your lovely wife made for me. Because it is, in yeah, fact... But yeah. Has it had craisins in it the whole this whole time? It has, but the pirate hat was on oh. top of it. Now the pirate hat's in the back corner, so you know. Gotcha. Uh, the I thought thingy... you just ate through your supply and didn't resupply. This thingy, Elena. You're talking about this this little diddly bobber right here. That's a. Uh, it's a uh, it's a chip clip. Magnetic one. It's for clipping his chips, you see. Yeah. Which is I... a euphemism for his penis. There he goes. I don't think I. There it is. I don't think I want to clip that. No, thank you. No thanks. Had one. Um. Anyway, uh, I'm playing Vacuum Warrior tonight, and we're gonna hang out, and we're gonna chill, and we're just gonna talk about you know whatever, whatever. I don't know, cause I'm just. I am also Vacuum Warrioring. Yeah. So let's uh, let's do it. I'm kind of at the point where. I just kind of have to let it do its thing. Oh, yeah. So, I might play something else simultaneously, and I don't know what that something else is. That's fair. Um, Let's go. I already have, okay. like, 20 hours in this. Oh, yeah, no. So, same? Same. Uh, oh, look. Look at all the stuff I've got. Look at me with my stuff. So... Um, I've gotten a few upgrades, which I'm really happy about. Um, I've gotten the upgrade where my I have persistent vacuums, so now whenever I prestige and the whole thing resets, uh, I actually keep the vacuums that I have unlocked. Uh, oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, so I have. Uh, I am up to the Eradicator. Which, by the way, I would just like to take a moment and really appreciate, like the like the rainbow array of the different colors of the uh the rollers the in the vacuums yeah. yeah the roller brushes that's just mwah, it's that beautiful is, not only is it dumb it's free yeah it is it is super free uh let me see do i still have do, 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 do. uh it's vacuum dot suck thanks two c's <laughs> hope this thanks. helps thanks chip <laughs> Uh, let me go see if I can go find it. Yeah, there it is. So there we go. There's We're the link. We're gonna have us a community suck off. Beautiful, beautiful. Ranch. Uh, listen, there's the only thing better than ranch is more ranch. The only thing better than more ranch is more free ranch. So, Liz, you're winning, I'm, and I'm very happy for you. I don't know if this is true of every Domino's, but the amount of free ranch you get seems to be directly correlated to the delivery tip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know what happens if you do pick up, because it does, I, I don't do So, listen, and I think this is a great time to remind folks, um, one... 
beautiful. Uh, one, if you if you order from a place where they offer, you know, where they have a tip line, um, tip, don't be a shitbag, tip people. Uh, if if you if your excuse is, hey, uh, well, I can't tip as much because you know whatever my m money situation, then don't go to a place where they tip where you tip. Make your own yeah, fucking if food. You can't afford the thing. Yeah, tipping is tipping is not optional. Tipping is the thing that you're supposed to do. Don't be a shitbag. Um. But also. No. Treat your, That's not treat to say people. it's a good business practice or it's fair, but right. why take it out of our, why take it out of their asses? Yes, exactly. Don't don't punish that the people. That being said, I am extremely conflicted at all of these new uh, phone payment processing apps that prompt you for a tip anyway on like customer service jobs that don't normally do that. I'm very sus of it. So like here's what? he well like okay say say some guy comes over and like cleans your carpets or something or like the plumber comes by and then he has the, mm. the payment you know set up to where you pay on his phone or whatever right and, and you know a lot of the Stripe and Square and a lot of that stuff automatically oh, show oh, a tip oh, screen oh, oh. so yeah, for like yeah, professional yeah. services like that that's different because if you're paying somebody a couple hundred bucks for an hour's worth of work anyway. That's different. This is not like a service industry where people legally, some fucking how, get paid absolute dog shit. Uh, I so, tip my lawnmower guy. Yeah, no, Dennis, I don't get it either. It's it's a very American capitalism thing where we treat all of our workers like shit, and actually, we treat everybody like shit who just isn't like already rich. That's basically it. And so, conversely, I treat everyone rich like shit. Yes, it's true. Just fuck him. Zam, Zam, you are not rich. Also, Zam, I love you. We're gonna be nice to Zam tonight. He's had a very, he's had a, he's had a very long day. Uh. He's, he's actually Wait. had a, he's had a pretty rough day today. I said hi to Zam. I didn't. Hi, Zam. Eat the rich. I would. I would love to. I have an entire shelf in my uh, in my pantry called Condiment Alley, and I would love to try all of my different condiments and seasonings on the rich to see how they all taste. Norb, once went to a grocery store where the self checkout had a tip screen. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. That's... Robots can fuck off. No, they're not getting tips. I'm, I'm also very conflicted on the like being being told to. Be like putting in a tip when I'm going to pick up my own to-go order. Oh yeah. In a restaurant. Yeah. I'm I'm like you. You literally just handed me food. I I have put in more effort than yeah. <laughs> than anything to get this food. Like I'm fine for tipping people to bring the food to me. What if you give them just the tip? Uh, that <laughs> without their consent, that's that's highly frowned upon. I would have to get their consent first. Well, that was implied. So, right, and even then, like, doing it in public, I would have to find a spot, make time for it. I'm not saying I'm not willing. I'm just saying there's there's a lot to think about with it, logistically speaking. That's Yeah, that's very fair. Uh, so, listen, Dennis, it may be 1 a.m. for you, pal. As you can see up up there, it is 7 p.m. for me, so it is... It is just nice mid evening for me, and I listen. And when it comes to the rich, I'm always I'm always about cannibalism, mm -hmm. buddy. It has not devolved. That is that is an evolutionary trait. That is a that is it's a seven, that, that's progress. It's seven sixteen p.m. Do you know where your suck is? <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here. It's just over there. Uh, suck, 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 <laughs> suck. <laughs> Baseball one has been converted into dun 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 dun. Yeah, and, and that's mega it. made. <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to have a Discord movie night sometime. We've been talking about doing that for three years, and we still haven't done it yet. And we should do that. Um, what's the saying that if you eat? Well, I forget the name of the fish, but if you eat a fish. 
specific kind of fish in the next like five months, there's a good chance that you will actually get to eat the rich. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Holy shit. Is the bot I'm posting on my account? Is that is that happening? What? What bot? Where? Oh, the bot did post bot. as me. Oh yeah, I gotta fix that. God damn it! I know you're unemployed, but god damn it! Listen, you're it's... fired. <laughs> well, I had a good run. <laughs> uh... If you're fired from being unemployed, does that mean you now have your old job back? Yes. Asking for a friend? <laughs> no. I do not. Okay, that should He's fix it. He's going to give you back your old nose. No! <laughs> uh, thank you, Dennis. Dennis is, uh, he's one of our community devs over at Firebot, and he looks out for us. We appreciate him very, very much. No, 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 you know what? No, the, you, listen, I don't have a job. <laughs> I, what else am I supposed to talk about? I don't know anything else anymore. Oh, I, though I did make some delicious food tonight. Uh, so, uh, we got some of that Giovanni Rana fresh pasta that you can get in the refrigerated section at the grocery store. Uh, we got five mm -hmm. cheese tortellini, which was excellent, oh, yeah. by the way. Um, like, the Giovanni Rana pastas are all very good. But their tortellini is something special. It's just, it's just well balanced, well done, delicious. We we often get their whole like his whole meal kit. Oh yeah 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 I've seen those. Yeah. It's like eight minutes in the microwave and bickety bam. It's no shit stains. <laughs> no shit stains in your undies. <laughs> it stains in your undies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so Liz, um, the sauce I actually made tonight. Um, the we. Sauce. We had a can of crushed tomatoes that was in the pantry. It's been in there for a little bit, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'll make I'll make a sauce out of it. So I used that. Um, I sautéed a little garlic. Iceberg um, needs it for everyday actually hustling. a decent amount of garlic. Um, the tomatoes, salt, pepper, onion powder, oregano, and just let that simmer down for a little bit, and then uh, put some ground beef in it. So. Um, or browned off some ground beef, mixed it with the sauce, you know, whatever. Louie, 24 months. Which one of you is it today? I don't know. Louie, because of the what? soap. Tom says Louie. Lolly, what do you say? Uh, Louie, because I don't know what we're talking about. That's fair. Okay. Because he's upset, about, Gil, he's upset about no colors. That's that's true. I haven't I haven't turned the colors back on yet, and I don't even know if the colors still work. They should work. Nothing's. God, changed. do you even work here? Nope, I sure don't. Doesn't work anywhere. I don't. I sure don't. Oh, it's Ellie. We were we were all wrong, gentlemen. We were all wrong. A new car. it this is all i do now this is literally all i do um this is lay stream pretty much i'm gonna do some more office cleaning tomorrow uh i might stream while i'm doing stuff i don't know yet and we'll see you should come clean my office no i don't think i will but i will come help you clean out the fridge by putting food in the fridge into my tummy oh ellie both cleaned the fridge tonight because it's trash no oh, yeah we we clean the fridge uh, over the weekend for because we have two trash nights, so we get our trash gets collected well, look at on. You. The, yeah, you so, trash nights in this economy. Well, it's a it, listen. It's a perk of living where we live. Um, so we get our trash gets collected on Wednesday mornings and Saturday mornings. Our recycling only gets collected on Wednesday mornings. So tonight was trash and recycling going out to the curb. Our recycling only gets collected every two weeks. Oh wow. 
<laughs> like, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Like, well, I'm sorry. I oh, live we in get a... two trash nights. Oh, our recycling picked up every week. I live in a National Arbor Day city because of all of our lovely trees, <laughs> so get wrecked, I guess. Um, we so... are every other... Like, trash is every week, and then alternating weeks is recycling and yard waste. Oh, yeah, we can put the yard waste out anytime with the, uh, the trash, and they'll come pick it up. Uh, so, Ellie, this is called Vacuum Warrior. It's a free game on Steam. It's a, it's an idle game uh, where you can sit here and you vacuum up stuff. So you've got, like, common dust, dirt, sand dust, grass pollen. Um, there's sawdust and coal dust and road dust and all kinds of other dust that you can vacuum up. And then you can sell it and get upgrades. And um, you can get these things called AVAs, which are Autonomous Vacuuming Assistants. Legally distinct robot vacuum cleaners, um, and it's great. It's and again, it's free on Steam. It's fantastic, and I love it. I'm currently in the mine. It's it's basically a Roomba. Yeah, they're they're little Roombas that go around and help you vacuum stuff up. Uh, but, but, nobody said that word. <laughs> nobody said that word. <laughs> Yeah, I meant to ask you about that, because I heard the vacuum, and then something smelled like fire. Is everything uh, good down there? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom just turns around and looks and sees, like, the carpet is all ablaze. He's like, oh, that's what that was. That was what I thought it was. Uh, Actually, it'd be awesome if our carpet just ceased to exist like that. Yeah, well. I hate carpet. Yeah, well, that's why we got rid of all of our carpet downstairs and put down the tile, which has been infinitely yeah, better. Like feels like it would cost me upwards of dollars. It did cost upwards of dollars when we did it. Can confirm. Didn't need to empty the collector yeah. do? Oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. I'm sure if there was really a fire, I would hear yelling. So I just kept my headphones on and kept going. Listen, Norb, if you move down here near us, you know, you could also have fancy... Multiple trash nights. You know, you can't afford anything down here right now because nobody can afford anything anywhere. Actually, the ones in our neighborhood are some of the least offensive price-wise. But, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm offended pretty easily. That's very true. Kitty spent three hours tidying your entire apartment instead of making dinner. It's now 1.30 a.m. Perfect. Find a snack. Threw a chicken yeah. breast in the oven. So that was your dinner. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Listen, as long as you're getting protein. Protein's important. Need protein. I had a baked potato. Baked potato? Perny? Yeah. Perny, look, I'm From vacuuming. McAllister's. Look at me sucking. Oh, McAllister's? I've been to McAllister's in a while. So I got the chicken chipotle one. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so it was basically like, like a meal on top of my baked potato. Nice. I gotta go to Costco in the next few days. Um... We are running dangerously low on our meat reserves, um, and I also need <laughs> toilet paper. No, you're not. <laughs> I said reserves, not fresh. Uh, wow, thanks, thanks, Perny. Thank you. I not for the second part, for the first part. Thanks. Hey, hey, Pern, Pern, this game is free. If you'd like to join us in a suck off. Love in the desert mountains just to, you know, you know, endure fewer trash nights. Well, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Listen, I, I, do you have to talk to her about that, Ellie? I, I have, I have no comment. And, but I do Since have a vacuum bird. cleaner. Where's the growth? Yeah, well, on my back, oh, her. <laughs> yeah, where's, the, yeah, no, no. Pern's growth. Where's Pern's growth? I don't know. I can't even see her. Uh, yeah, Pern, can you? Are you allowed to ride all the rides now, or what? Is that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we turned it into a short joke. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Listen. Listen. She's gonna come in here starting shit. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What did What did Lolly get to tell you today, Elena? What did Lolly? What did you get to tell Elena today? Well, she's good at her job, and that you know. Oh, She's about really this. Good at her job. What? 
she she has her boss back and her boss is singing her praises monetarily even so oh oh I to say i told you so oh is her boss, i see her boss making it rain i see on your house i see i got you okay the yeah, ongoing speaking, i told you yes. so of anxiety yes well listen i mean it's fine elena this is what we do you will do a thing you will get anxious about it lolly and i will tell you and that we will tell you that we told you so and then you know Sometimes it's days, sometimes it's weeks, sometimes it's a couple months later. We eventually tell you so about these things, and then the cycle begins anew. Mother of Dumple, if that ain't the way it goes. Right? Uh, rinse, lather, repeat. Something like that, yes. I'm pretty. Rinse, uh, lather. Yes. Oh, you know what sounds good? Speaking of slathering, big old rack of ribs. Slathered in south. <laughs> Ah, I love ribs. I want ribs now. Tom, how did you know? Experience. Oh, I always want ribs. I love ribs. Nine new books coming from Amazon. Proud of you, Elena. Truly proud of you. Ah. Every time I go to Amazon now, they just want to... Uh further my new habit they think I have which is collecting fan filters oh I bought fan filters recently yes and but that's it and but, then they're yeah. just like <laughs> but we have so many more in the warehouse <laughs> I just I love I love when you buy like a thing from Amazon that's like so sporadic or even like a single use thing and then suddenly Amazon's like would you like these 730 other variations of the thing that you bought that you only need one of in your entire life it's like, yes, you know what, Amazon, I think I will. I think I will build my own miniature warehouse of this one item that I'll never fucking use again. Thank you. That's so I, kind of you to notice. Norb, what do you do to Bibles? <laughs> God <laughs> <laughs> uh, Listen, we don't kink shame around here. Actually, I wasn't no. shaming, I was asking a question. <laughs> uh, when's, wow, let, let's see. You met Norb, didn't you? I think you met Norb. Yeah, I know Norb. Yeah, okay. If it's just, the same Norb I'm thinking of. It is ex It is exactly the same Norb that you're thinking of, yes. Well, 100%. I worked with Norb. Oh, that's right. I forgot you two worked there together. Mm -hmm. I f sometimes I forget that one or both of you worked there. Different time and a different I, place. I can confirm you do indeed do that. You just did. I've forgotten. You ever forget it happened to me? Thanks, thanks, Norb. Norb's reminding me. Thank you, Norb. Hope this helps. Subscribe and save on those things. When we get subscribe and save on a filter, Lolly's supposed to change monthly, and a year later Mike. we have a stockpile of ten filters. Oh, Lolly, did you not change the air filter, buddy? I assume I, I it was no. the same Norb, <laughs> because I've never met another Norb. That's fair, that's fair. Oh, Norb's dad used to have this pizza place that was delicious. It was so good. I miss that place. Well, the pizza was good. The building itself was probably well average tasting for a building. That's, well, I don't know. I mean, uh, listen, mm -hmm. we'd have to ask Krakow. He's kind of the expert on eating things around here, like building materials. Well. Tell well, I me mean, this place has the morale of a house on fire. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I lived in a burning building once. Bye, Elena. <laughs> Congratulations on being told so, as we typically do. Thank you for the lurk. The house meat, that's right. Yeah, that's the drywall is, and the drywall drywall is, the house. is house crackers. And the drywall is house crackers. Yep, 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 yep. And the wires are house noodles. House noodles, <laughs> yep. Yep, that's, boy, that's so good. Let's make delicious pizza, except, you know, I know, I know, buddy. Listen, don't worry, Norb. I'm, all of your lactose intolerance, I'm making up for it. Don't worry. I will eat all of the dairy for you. I am still, in fact. Dun, 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 dun. I'm still the milkman, buddy. Still got it. Uh, are there levels to this? There are, there aren't levels. Oh. But there are different... You can suck on so many levels. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, there aren't levels, but there are different locations that you can go to. 
and they have different uh, types of of dirt there. Suck, sucky, suck, 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 sucky, suck, 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 I'm I'm sucking at video games. I could not have been clearer about it. It's it's right. It's right there. Sucking at video games. Hey, Norb, I have all of the robes. I still have every robe, every single one of them back there. Norb was around when the robe first became a thing. That's been a long time ago now. Many, many years. The stream does not suck, but I suck at the video game. That's what it does. Suck, 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 suck. Kitty, if you're asking, no, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to know what's kind of sad. But go ahead and tell me anyway. Everyone's for suggesting a game. Oh yeah, I, I do want to do you pick at some point again, because uh, that was a lot of fun. I rem, I really miss doing that, because uh, oh. it gave me a chance to play a lot of games that I wouldn't normally even think about playing. Because uh, I got a lot of great suggestions from all of you, but uh, yeah, um, oh nor yeah, like at least twelve years now, yeah. Speaking of channel point things, yeah, I had a had a thought. Actually, oh. it's a stolen thought. Okay, it was, you know, when uh, on these tug off days, <laughs> tug off days. <laughs> yep, yep, we're doing tug off days anyway, now. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, I, I hop around and try to find stream that suits my mood sure at the moment. sure today i was feeling like a chill day you know needed those vibes yeah, and yeah i found somebody and so they were doing their uh chill dealio when all of a sudden uh, i heard the uh who's that pokemon it's pikachu pokemon. yeah and like one of her mods described the pokemon like this is a uh blah blah type and some other characteristic and the chat had to guess that's fantastic yeah so it seemed like it'd be super minimal effort i think well, we did say that we uh we, we wanted a channel point redemption where i read off uh pokedex entries that's true we do uh and so i and I've, I've been thinking about how to do that and i kind of wanted to do something like that with the pokedex entry and just showing the pokedex entry where you like we have to guess what it is, but I don't know. Like, I know some of the Pokedex entries are going to have the name of the Pokemon in it, so I don't know how that's gonna how how that would work. Uh, Perny, it's a it's a tug off day. I think we couldn't have been more clear about that. Once again, yeah, it's a tug off day. Mm-hmm. We're having a suck a thought. Yeah, on on a tug off day because you know there's no tug today. <laughs> what? What <laughs> did you that. do? <laughs> what did you do to the cat? Oh, I see. I see. Bean got to firsthand witness uh, the Scooby Doo that Loaf pulls. So, oh. Yeah. Adorable. So we have our entire downstairs is tile. So. You know, being a kitty cat with her little soft, her soft toe beans, uh, she doesn't get a whole lot of traction when she starts running on the tile floor. So what she'll do yeah. is she loves to like when it's time for us to come upstairs, um, or if we're coming upstairs for something, she loves to like run to the stairs, and the stairs go up like this, and mm. the like the little entryway goes like this. So the stairs. Are you have to turn the corner completely. You have to 180 to go up the stairs. So Loaf will take off and she'll do this thing that could only be described as like Scooby Dooing, where she like like turns the corner and like and like winds up and but you up the stairs. It's spectacular. I love it. That's fantastic. I love it. I gotta, I gotta go find that sound effect. Um, it's, I know it's on the sound effects wiki somewhere. I gotta go grab it. It's just been a while. Speak, Maybe I can go find speaking it. Speaking of loaf, yes, that, that's that actual same chill stream. The streamer was like, "Oh, I've got the chat thing." Like they had the chat thing, kind of like imagine 
if it was above your head here in this little space. Yeah, yeah. Right, but where the chat messages were larger. Yeah. And then she was like, it makes your emotes larger. So if you have a cute emote, I'd love to see it. And so I showed off Loaf doing a munch onto your finger, which you, was a big hit. You mean uh, kind of like, kind of like this right here? Yeah, but more animated, like. It was like, yeah, right, it's very right. good. It's very good. But then to to counterbalance that, I also used Mr. Handsome. Oh, that's that's all. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Ellie, yes, or they, as as we like to call him here, the anti loaf. The anti loaf is that <laughs> is that what your wife calls him? No. Oh, is that just what I thought? It, why, what's the exact opposite of loaf? It's probably Mr. Handsome. That's fair. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes, Ellie, they do all have numbers. They do all have a numeric designation. Um, Depends which Pokedex you're kind of talking on, though. Sometimes they overlap because they don't know what they're doing in the beginning. Listen, to merge them all back together. And it's fine. We chaos. And then in, in this house, the, uh, in this house, I only form, recognize the national decks. <laughs> the evolved forum doesn't come numerically right after what it's from, and that causes me logical issues. He's an aberration. All right, that's fair. That's fair. This is... Hey, you married me. No, I think she's talking about this this handsome gentleman here. Oh yes. That's this one right here. Mm. Yeah. There's a saucy fellow. Yeah. I just went from six to midnight. I don't know about you. <laughs> you did, pal. That's that's also true, Liz. That's very true. Oh, Tom, stop being such a goofy goose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Ellie, that's that's Mr. Handsome. That's uh that's from our friend Tugboat Very when he was see. yeah when he was playing Elden Ring, that was the character he created for Elden Ring, Mr. Handsome. And then later and he was he, so popular. Then Everyone later he created Mrs. Him. Handsome. It was, Everyone loved Mr. Handsome so universally. Yeah, that that's, merchandise yeah. was produced. It's true. It's true. No one hates Mr. Handsome, especially Pernt. It's her favorite thing in the whole world. Well, that's not true. Okay, I can't lie that about like that about Pern. It's her second favorite Pern thing in the whole world. No, that's not true either. It's her third favorite thing in the whole world. Her second favorite thing are moist shrub nuts, and her favorite thing is a good old dumple, big old moist dumple. <laughs> Pern has a Mr. Handsome body pillow and cheese. <laughs> and cheese. Yeah, it's it is inc it is incredibly cursed, Mr. Handsome, for he is handsome. Yeah. You see. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just you grow into becoming like a a visage of your own name. Tug had a uh, yeah. channel point redemption at the time where you could actually remove Mister Handsome's pants, so he would walk around in just his top and his skivvies. And then he had a more expensive channel point redemption to put the pants back on. That's true. It's true. Yeah, it cost more to to put the pants back on <laughs> than it did to take them off. Which honestly, I can relate to. He was all cheeked up <laughs> on a Thursday. On a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go, Perny. Yeah. Uh, that's from our buddy Tugboat. But does he even know who, what the watch does? Oh, n he well, he does now, he thanks does to now. us. <laughs> Literally thanks to us. We told him and then ridiculed him. Oh, it was great. <laughs> Like you do. I have legs. They're just, you know, down there doing not strim things right now. Do you know how to use them? That's not what I said. I said I have them. I asked. I... All right, let's go here. Let's go to the road. Start. Uh, uh, I've got all the shop bots all the way up to sawdust now to, uh, to do my upgrades for me, which I'm pretty happy about. my gravity well out. Uh, 11,000. That's not bad, but I need to... You barely <laughs> exceeded expectations. I've got a watch! Thank you, Perny. What, wa what does the watch do? What does the watch do? What, what does the, the watch, watch do? do? What, what does the, the watch, watch do? do? What does the watch do? He got the watch and never, never learned what it did. And it was beautiful, and we found out what the watch did fairly quickly. When I played Baron Breakfast, and then we told him what the watch did one night when he was playing Fortnite with us, and he, because he somehow still never found out. So really, we're an educational stream. Uh, you're welcome, everyone. 
Yeah. It does, in fact, tell the time, yes. It puts a clock on your mini-map in Baron Breakfast to tell you what the current time of day in-game is. As you would expect a watch to do, telling you the time. Preposterous. <laughs> Do I have the... I do have the sawmill unlocked. Okay, perfect. Uh, I need a lot of, uh, of money. I mean a ton. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been... I've been prestiging at about 200k and then just dumping that back in. 200,000 prestige tokens? Jesus, I haven't gotten anywhere near that yet. Although, you do have a, a couple of oh. days on me. Well, dump them into the dust token compression technology. I've... I've, and you get... I've been doing some of that, yeah. Uh, where is it? There it is. I've been doing some of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, Alibeth, which is even better. Withheld the information. Yes, it's true. Liz kept it from me on purpose. Because she likes to toy with my emotions. That's her hobby Temptation. around here. But she's good at it. And it's, you know, she has a fun time with it, so... Turn off the shop bot. That's, one, that's the one UI thing I need Liz, I don't know. I don't know anything. Promptly. I don't even have a job. I don't know. I would like him on the dust deposit menu to give me a button to sell everything at once. I mean, you can go to max and, you know. No, I mean, sell all of them. Well, can you put in a feature request? Can you go post a thing for it in, on the Steam page for it? I don't know, maybe. Maybe you'll do it. Maybe. Mm-hmm. It would be cool if that just sort of happened without my intervention, though. <laughs> Liz over here, like, loaf, like, at my emotions. What's Louie been doing? <sighs> um, listen. Has he also been having a tug-off day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, my see. God, the hammer pulled you off. <laughs> did, he, did he just, did he have Arby's by himself in the room with you? Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> did he have his did he have his own individual Arby's meal? Uh, I listen, I want McAllister's. I want McAllister's, I want the McAllister's tea, I want the I'm sad they took the uh the orange cranberry. They ha okay, so they have a McAllister's club sandwich, right? It's just your typical club sandwich, you know, like um, two layers with the ham and the turkey and the cheese and the lettuce and the tomato. Like, it's good. It's really good. And then one holiday season, a few years back, they made, they brought an orange cranberry. And then, like, um, like a year or two into that, they left the orange cranberry on the menu. Um, so... They had this orange cranberry club, and it was just outstanding, and they stopped serving it a little while back, which is sad, but I get it, you know. Maybe they'll bring it back promotionally at some point or something. I'm hoping so. I'm sure they will. McAllister seems like a good, the good kind of place to do that, you know? He woke Unless up and scared the shit. Selling. You lanky-ass motherfucker, you scared the motherfucking bejesus out of me. That's... You should hide all of his haggis on the bottom shelf. You should jar all of his haggis. You want haggis? No more fresh haggis for you. You gotta eat it out of jars. Or you can go buy your own canned haggis. Those are your options. <laughs> you filthy Scott. Mm -hmm. You say that to him exactly. <laughs> and you have to warm it up in the microwave. What, next to the tea? Yeah. And then put barbecue sauce on it. Oh, the barbecue sauce on the haggis. <laughs> oh, that's spectacular. I gotta see if I still have some of the, um, 
the cable clips that I got. I don't know if I used them all. I might have. I might have to order some more. <laughs> well, then my not, work here is done. He does not <laughs> look happy. He's Scottish. He never looks happy. He always looks grumpy. Unless he's diving into a vault full of coins. That's also true, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's only when he puts on his duck bill and his tail feathers. <laughs> Listen, I'm just happy that finally, after so many years, uh, and so many different incarnations, um, in different media, we finally got a Scottish person to play Scrooge McDuck. That was fantastic. Not just any Scottish person, either. David Tennant played Scrooge McDuck in the most recent DuckTales cartoon series, and it... Woo! Yeah, there you go. And he was just... He was as perfect as you would expect. You can put him in his place real quick. That's because we had this conversation yesterday, Ellie, um, about how uh, short people are fucking fierce and vicious. Hello. That's that's close somehow. That's... Weirdly. <laughs> yes. That's yes, Lynn. that's rule thirty four, <laughs> Ducktales. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's when that's when Viv is is looking at some of his his uh, his OnlyFans sites on the internet. Those are those are different kind of duck tales, but he's going ooh woo. It's because Viv is a duck, you see. Yes. Uh, no, Louis. Louis and I we had this conversation yesterday. Only ducks, yes. Boy, howdy, David Tennant is just a goddamn treasure. It was so funny. He did an interview recently where he uh, he was talking about he was going to go work on this production, and before the production started and everything, everybody was going through all of their like HR sort of mandated stuff that they needed to do, and they got to a part about communication, and they started commu talking about communication over text. And things that, you know, aren't, aren't appropriate and things like that, you know, sure. And, uh, and they got to like a thing about emojis and it's like, remember an eggplant isn't, isn't just an eggplant and it winks they, like they wink in the video and he's, he has no idea. Cause he's like, he doesn't know what any of that is. He's like, he's like, he's like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and so like. You know, he learned... That's a penis. <laughs> that's, that's a penis. So, like, he learned what all this stuff means because, like, he, he just didn't know before. Um, and it's just hilarious to, to watch sweet David Tennant, who, you know, hasn't kept up with all this newfangled fancy stuff like the kids are all doing these days. And Yeah. Mm. Oh, did he... Did, did his kids do like my sister and I did to Senior when he wanted to know about... Uh abbreviations and text messages oh my god we we convinced him that milf means my isn't life fantastic oh jesus christ i don't know oh ellie ellie did you was it the was it the one where he was on graham elliott and <laughs> that was that was fantastic or graham norton excuse me graham norton um god graham elliott. i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry I don't have a job. I can't keep up with things anymore. My brain is already mush. Um, uh, it, was, it was mush. It, it was mush before you quit. Yeah, it's even worse now. Uh, yeah, his children had to explain some of it to him. Yes, yes. That's a penis, Dad. <laughs> uh, have you found any gold chests yet? Nope, not a single one. Me either. Ellie, I don't fucking know what day it is. I don't know. I wonder. Part of me wonders if only they if they only show up on like the last level. Maybe. Well, I mean, it says it's got like. It's it's under a one percent chance. It's... Yeah. But I've been playing this for like twenty hours now, and I upgraded my Avas to pick them up, so. 
Even if oh. I'm not looking at the screen and one shows up, it should get got. When was the last time I ate or drank? Uh, I, I had, I'm full of pasta and sauce. And I have a sweet tea. Sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in this weird uh, in between right now where I haven't eaten any like real food for a week, so now I'm just eating whatever the fuck I want. But I mm. still have uh, tonsillectomy leftovers of like ice cream and fudgesicles and mm, fudge stuff like that. So I am just like eating. Are you? Everything are you at the, right now? Are you at the point of even those? Even though those are delicious, you don't want to see them anymore. Um, I am at that point with the applesauce, for sure. I'm going through it because we still have a bunch, but I am, I'm not at that part with anything chocolate yet. Uh, speaking of, Lolly, did you know that if you spell applesauce with just A's, you could call it, ah! Uh, <laughs> just thought you I should know. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're welcome. Uh... But I mean, in order to do that, you'd have to take the PP out. And that's true. That's true. And that's uh. toss. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh. I think but, it. Yeah. Did you know that? Uh, oh my God! What was it? What Why was Ellie? it? Because she married my old ass. Mm, that's. But you know, I'm not a cradle rubber. I mean, I know that. I had to sign paperwork to that effect. Like, I had to, I had to sign on the marriage license. There was a whole disclaimer. It's like, it's like, Allison, do you know that this man is 130 years old? And she's like, yeah, I know. But she married him. And I'm like, and I'm like hurry up. We're going to miss Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> in, fairness, we, in fairness, we had to get you out of there, you know, before the, uh, before the early bird special was over for dinner. Yeah, well, also, you know, if you're not back at the home by 7 o'clock... <laughs> they start coming to look for you? Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll, well, they give your room away. Uh, <laughs> they just assume you're dead. Oh, uh, we get... You know, we, we leave the wedding venue and we're we're on the way and <laughs> Tom's like, you know, I got married once and Ali Beth's like, okay, Grandpa, let's get you back home. <laughs> <laughs> mochi mochi hi mochi mochi i love you how are you how have you been mochi what cursed things are you arting mm, mochi is the best at doing cursed art things so good at the cursed arts i mean good at all of the arts but especially the cursed arts it's a cute thing oh okay <laughs> oh cute and cursed huh <laughs> Hey, listen, I I thought I looked okay with bangs and tits. And that is that is undeniably cursed. I mean, I guess the real question is, would you do you? <laughs> the next the follow-up question is, I, is that still considered masturbation? I do be so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you like three years to finish. Oh, so this is a long-term project. <laughs> uh, uh, once again, Allie Beth, I will remind you, as we do so very often, you were warned, ma'am. You would intercept you. <laughs> Jesus, he came on. <laughs> uh, what, Ellie, you don't, you don't remember him with giant tits? Just big old knockers. <laughs> the bangs, yeah, the bangs really made it, honestly. She knows what she's about. Yeah, so, uh... She got that done. Yeah, this, this right Real here? Though. Is this the, uh... <laughs> is this the image? Uh, yeah! Is this the image? <laughs> Like those are those are those are killer fucking bangs, and I wish I could pull them off. I really do. Those are fantastic. I mean, I guess the tits too, but you know the bangs really. The bangs are at least a lot cheaper. To... 
What what is this saying about Zunder's mental health that he quits his job and all of a sudden he's like really w significantly more okay with this Bowsette cosplay Zundet whoa, whatever whoa, whoa. the hell we're I didn't say that. it was okay. I'm just saying I'm appreciating Mochi's work because she does excellent work. That's all I'm saying. Right. She sure does. But I don't know that you've ever considered saying that you would fuck yourself. Well, this yourself. That uh, other version of yourself? <laughs> Everybody else is telling me to go fuck myself all the time, so I was like, eh, you know, maybe they've got a point. <laughs> you yeah, figure out what I all mean, the hype's about? <laughs> if you gotta go fuck yourself, you might as well go fuck yourself the version of with the rack. That's all I'm saying. Because, as we all know, titties. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not on vacation, CKY. I'm on sabbatical. It's very different. Vacation means that you have a job to go back to. I do not. Because I am an idiot and quit my job. Mm, you're the smartest <sighs> idiot in the room. Norb, you and everybody else in this fucking community for some reason... Norb, you know what I like look like in real life. You have spent many an hour in real life with me. Nobody wants that. You know this. Ask your wife. Ask her. Go ahead. See see what she says. See how quickly she says no. See, this is what I know about Norb. Norb, Norb will go, he will go chaotic neutral every once in a great while, but his wife, the in, the incredible human being that she is, will rein him in. Do moobs count as rack? No. And not if I can't get that kind of cleavage. I'm talking about my titties. <laughs> the, the whole the whole Bowsette thing came back up. Mostly because Tom asked me if I would fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> because it's Tom, that's what he does. <laughs> we just keep asking. Bean just keeps asking, but why? As if she, as if there's an answer to Tom. See, that's the thing people don't realize. Everybody's a always asking why our Cracko, but nobody's ever asking why our Tom. In fairness, I guess we already know why our Tom. They and the answer is senior they, because they they know I'll tell them why. That's also that's true. Why yes, they don't ask. That's that's also true. Yeah. Yes, Norb, your wife is a hundred percent lawful good. She you is. See, She's wonderful, Ellie, and we love her. There could be a simple explanation. Huh? That being that your anguish sustains me. With the tits? What about tits? You would? No, we're talking about we're talking about the Bowsette. Yeah, no. All that's of your anguish sustains about. me. All of it. Yeah, no. Okay. Also, Norb's here. And Norb's here. Norb Bean says hi. Hey, ask Bean if she would fuck Zelzet. She said no. She already told me no. Oh. Uh, oh, I, I, I opened It's fine. It's gone now. What about a three-way? No, Tom. Bean doesn't want to do a three-way with me and Zalzet. <laughs> She's her, her words just now, and I quote, Good fuck, I'm leaving. <laughs> Oh, so good fuck. So she's in. <laughs> uh, that was poor wording on your part, Bean. <laughs> Tom says, and I quote, Oh, good fuck, so you're in. <laughs> no. Uh, Mochi, you are chaotic good. I I can see that, for sure. Chaotic good. I allowed Krako, and he's... In, well, that's... He, Krako is... No one, no one really knows what Krako is. Also, howdy, Fritz. Happy Tuesday, pal. Really, Good to see you. You don't really allow Krako. Krako just happens to you. Krako just happens. Yeah. It's like one of those things where, you know how, like, if you, you say you get out of your car, just a hypothetical that this has never happened to anyone, especially me. But like you get out of your car, say you're going into like a Sam's Club or something to go purchase some some foodstuffs, and as soon as you get out of the car, you start walking towards the front of the store, and then suddenly a bird shits on your hand, 
that just that's the kind of thing that just happens to you. That's that's Cracko is the bird who shits on your hand and you have to go wash it. Yeah, thanks, Chip. Uh, log off forever. Bean and I were talking about that, about me like potentially going off the grid and just hiding for like the next ten years. That'd be fun. I, I'd give it a I'd give it a go. I don't know what the test is, but I'm chaotic chaos or what You're chaotic neutral. Sure. Yeah. I I don't know. I know. I, I, that's why I told I you. I don't know what any of that means. I know, that's why I told you. You got chaotic good? I could see that, Liz. But I don't I don't yeah. I think Liz, I think you're more neutral good. I think I'm sometimes good. you have to follow rules to a fault. And then there are other times when you're like, mm, okay, heck the rules. I'll do this my way anyway. But as long as the heck outcome I'm... is good. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Heck, I'm right in the poop funnel. Heck, I'm right in the poop funnel. There you go, Tom. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Uh, Ellie Louie is... Scottish. Yeah, that's that's Louis' alignment as Scottish. That's it. Um, Ellie, I think you are more <laughs> neutral good. Allie Beth, it's because, once again, I remind you, it's because you teach middle school, and that's a survival trait. Alignment kilt. Yes, that's it. That's Louis. <laughs> uh, Louis is... He is... He is... He is kilted. He is kilted haggis. That's his alignment. <laughs> you're you're chaotic good. Yeah. You're cracko if cracko didn't smell funny. Yeah. That's why you're code red cracko and baja bean. You see. Yeah. Yeah, Ellie, I think you're neutral good. I think you're neutral good. You strike me as neutral good. I just don't You I, Liz I don't know if any of these things are desirable or not. Liz, you abhor authority, but you thrive on systems where there are like logical rules in place. Especially rules that protect other people. I dropped a chart in the general Discord channel. Beautiful. Thank you, Miss Allie Beth. And that, Liz, is why, that's why you're neutral and not fully chaotic. No, you. N no, you dabs. Wait, can I? Oh, I can dab now. There, that's the, that's the best you get. You always could. Son of a bitch. You don't need legs to dab. I just learned how. Sometimes I forget that I have arms. Sometimes I just sit here in vacuum because I don't even know what to do. I just have just vacuum. And you. 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 <laughs> mm, I'm a bear. I'm vacuuming. You. I love you. I'm just vacuuming the street. See you, Norb. Norb, good to see you, buddy. I miss you. I love you. Send my regards to your lovely wife. Tell her I love her, too. Help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Norb has several typewriters. He is he is That's very true. <clears throat> he's very good at uh, he's very good at the readings. He loves the readings, but he's also very good at the writings too. He has um, many leather bound books. He does. He His does. Apartment it's true. smells of rich mahogany. Yeah, uh, he actually he actually does a lot of. Um, um, Oh, what the hell? Um, I can't think of the word. Green place. That too. Uh, <clears throat> he does reviews of like electronic devices and stuff. Uh, you should go subscribe to his YouTube channel, Norb Reviews. It's he's fantastic. Love, love, love Norm. He's boy, he's just the best. I worked with Norb. Can confirm Norb yeah. is good. Yep, Norb Norb's is good very, guy. very good. 
So go check him out. He's a very he's very unbiased in his reviews as well. He's he's very thorough. Very very well done stuff. And you know how I hate humans. So if I'm saying nice things about a human, you know they're okay. That's true. Well, Norb's 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 better than a human. I mean, let's be real. That's true. He's 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 almost you might say superhuman. Mm -hmm. Almost. He's just a good dude. He is. He is. He's a he's a righteous dude. Yeah, Norb and I used to hang out uh, quite a bit many many years ago. Anytime you mention mention the name Norb, I keep thinking you're about to segue to your sponsor, Norb VPN. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Could we start Norb VPN? We could start Norb VPN if if Norb is down. Would we get sued? <laughs> By who? Norb or Nord VPN? Nord for being too close. No, fuck them. No, yeah. we're just gonna. The logo is just going to be a giant X. I mean, who would ever be stupid enough to come up with that idea? That's a good point. Yeah, that's. Well, no one's even done that. No one. Yeah, no one has that trademarked. No, no, no one's done that. Not for gaming purposes. Certainly not for, for social uh, media. Social media purposes. No, no. Not for mm. porn either. Never for porn. What's porn? I don't even know. Why would you associate the letter X with porn? What's porn? No, it needs at least two more, to be oh. perfectly honest with you. I see. I see. What's porn porn porn? Now <laughs> <laughs> I added two more, did I do it right? What's porn porn porn? Now, it was my understanding that X was going to give it to you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what's going on with that. And when I don't know. Will I receive, when will I receive it, and what actually is it i don't know although what's so speak speaking of of that same genre um i've always thought it funny so there's a the olive garden in clearwater florida uh is you know when you go to an olive garden they have like the name of the general manager on like a, a like a plate in front of the like next to the door um mm. and the manager of the olive garden in clearwater for a long time may still be was in fact rick ross so you just walk uh, up to the Olive Garden like, oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Wait, okay, I, I have to, Ellie, has someone done what? I'm now, I'm, I'm lost. I don't remember. I list today of different internet tech companies that have already trademarked X, which one is Facebook? One of which is Facebook, totally not a, no, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, the X the X that Facebook, that Meta has trademarked, they got from the other company that currently holds an X trademark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The X is trademarked here in the States. Um, so the first one is Microsoft. They own the X as a trademark for Xbox and all of its related services. So they actually have the X trademark so that you can't use the letter X as a designation for a video gaming service or any kind of like communication service about video games or computer games, um, things like that. So any kind of like social, anything that has to do with games electronically, Microsoft owns the letter X for that. They have the trademark for that. Then there's the one that Meta owns and Meta owns one. Now they own the stylized one. I, I didn't dig deep enough to see if they have just the actual word mark itself. But they do have the a specific styled version of the X that they bought from Microsoft a few years ago when Pour One Out Mixer got shut down. So the X that was the stylized X in the Mixer logo is the one that Meta owns. But that is specific to social media that they own the, uh, the trademark for that now as a social media service. So I just can't wait for my dream. And I've talked to Brian about this. My dream is that Elon Musk gets sued into complete irrelevance. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want Elon Musk to just get sued so fucking hard that no one even remembers. I want him to be a footnote while he's alive. That's what I want. I want it to be like, oh yeah. Yeah, I kind of remember that idiot. 
fuck that guy. I would like, I would like for him to take a sightseeing tour of the Titanic. Oh, that would also be nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Elon Musk, in his infinite stupidity, uh, has changed the name of Twitter um, to X, the letter X. This is something he's been trying to do for decades, is to have a company named X. When he bought Twitter, the underlying corporation that he formed to buy Twitter, he called X. It's the X Corporation. And he's he is now changing the name of Twitter to X and changed the logo as of yesterday or today to an X. So all of the brand recognition and value that it has, he has completely destroyed literally overnight. He has SpaceX. He does. He does. And because he's a child, uh, if you ever take notice of the four models of vehicle that Tesla makes, there is the Tesla Model S, the Tesla Model X, their crossover, the Tesla Model Y, which they, uh, I don't know if they ever did start manufacturing it, and the Tesla Model 3. He has the models S, 3, X, and Y, which he's also made uh, one of the conference room names at Twitter headquarters now is that. So he's just... He he's has what? As, as I said, I think, yesterday... Uh, he has infinitely more money than sense. That's w what it is. That's exactly what it is. He has infinitely more money than sense. He's 13. That's almost offensive to 13-year-olds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mochi, shut up. Do you have pictures? That's great. Or grape, either way. Oh, yes! The grapes. The grapes are fantastic. Fuck, I love the grapes. It's so good. You're like three expansions away from being able to see those grapes still. I know. I, I am, it's true. I have to go, th I have to finish all the, like, the Heavensward patch stuff. I have to do Stormblood. I have to do Tiny Horse, and then I can see the grapes. Oh my god, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Damn it, Mochi. I saw that. Yeah, just be careful with that thing, Ellie. Uh, they're fucking death machines. It would be an easy cosplay, it's true. True, I just cover myself like I get one of those like big like like fur blankets and just wrap myself into it and and then put on some ears and then there we go. He was given one from work. Oh well then Okay, well then listen, is, did he did he pay for it himself? Or did they pay for it? And, If you're gonna just get handed any vehicle, uh, yeah, any car like that, I can't blame too terribly much. I don't think. Listen, they're still at least pretty good. They're they're okay, but they're fucking death traps, and they're terrible. Like, in, if you look at close-ups of the Cybertruck, even like the most recent builds of the Cybertruck that still doesn't exist, it it's like a Existence satisfactory. That's no, that's the cyber wagon. It's very different, Tom. It's different. 
and it's 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 literally indestructible. No, um, you. <laughs> that's also true. Yes. Um, that's okay, Ellie. That's fair. Um, but yeah, the the Cybertruck looks like it was made by a moderately talented first year sheet metal student. I'm not kidding. Like. The edges on it are terrible. The seams on it are awful. You say it, sheep metal? Sheet metal, not sheep metal. That's that's different. That's a that's 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 a Scottish uh, rock genre. Is sheep metal? <laughs> I heard it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard it can't be bleat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd listen. To, I'd listen to it. Would I... you? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Bless you. On a different car, you can't get another one for another year. Or he pays for it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Listen, if they're gonna fucking pay for it, fuck yeah. I'm Jack Sparrow. <laughs> What? <laughs> just, uh, I'm Ron Burgundy? <laughs> is what you just did. Who put, who put a question mark in the teleprompter again? <laughs> I, I'm looking, I'm looking at... Uh, oh, you're looking at the alignment chart? And yeah. That is, that is an example of, of the kind of, of, of characteristics that, like, your, yes. No, sir, I don't like it. You don't have to be Jack Sparrow. You can be someone else, but that's the... You were chaotic that's neutral. That's the information I've been given. Follow whimsy? That's me. Your neighborhood whimsical guy. You do, you do, you do have a tendency to tee hee. Don't tell me, don't tell me you don't, because then you'd be a fucking liar. It's right over here with all my whimsy. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, the neutral good that's... will calm the child, but will not get the cat out of the tree. Yeah, I'm. This kind of got, got you in the corner there. You are enamored with '80s cartoon villains who go meow. There are precisely one. That well, do that. well, there you go. What? Very confused. I'm chaotic, confused. Half of the things that you've drawn for me are Tom's fault. Yes. Yeah. Which half? <laughs> The bottom you volunteered half. volunteered for Zauzet. I didn't volunteer for that. Mochi offered that. That's what I mean. She volunteered, so how's that Oh, my she fault? volunteered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She volunteered for that. In fairness, she got that idea from all of you. <laughs> I, I understand that, Ellie. I very much understand that. Cars are not cheap. No, Ali, but you're, you're, yeah, you're neutral good. Ali, Beth, you're an English teacher. Eng like, the rules may be, they may be terrible, but you do follow them. You teach them. English, like any other language, has rules. And you abide those rules, and you also teach them to the youths. And that's your magnum opus here? That's that's saying something, considering the tits that you gave me. <laughs> Great. Closing in on... Know when and how to break anything. those rules. Yes, which is why she's neutral and not chaotic. Because she still follows the rules, but she also knows when and how to break the rules. I don't know what all this is, but I'm not for it. 
But you what? Again. I, I ain't for it. I'm no. It. I could break down all of humanity into one of nine categories. Nah. Okay. All right. Settle down. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll get over it. Nah. And if you don't, who cares? We're on our way to see Burt Reynolds. Gonna die? I mean, to, to quote Harry Weston, sooner or later, I guarantee it. Unless the Japanese come up with something. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. I know you're gonna love that, Ellie. That's gonna be a lot of fun. That would probably be terrible. A trip abroad? No, no, no. Well, maybe. I don't know, but like, uh, if they did come up with something and actually do have to live forever. Oh. Well, I'm sure it would be optional. Not in this capitalist hellscape. That's a workforce. Yikes. A pirate again? What yeah, is with this fucking thing? What is... It's... It's... They're... Their general care, their their general personality traits. Like, settle down. That's that's how the, it's. Everybody has personality traits. Tom's like, no, I'm a potato. This is just a more colorful Myers Briggs. They're, yeah, it's all the same, buddy. Yes, and it's all terrible. <laughs> They work with law enforcement or local authorities. They do not feel beholden to them. They have no qualms breaking the rules if it means doing the morally right thing. There you go. Hmm. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. That's something I hadn't heard in a long time. I'm trying to think, I feel like that was it's in either a Guitar Hero or a Rock Band. One of them, yeah, that was in one of them. I forget which one. A band? Don't know. Oh, I have two chests. I didn't even realize. Three hundred and sixty tokens. Oh. And I time lapsed 13 minutes just now. I love that. Which kind of tokens? The silvery the, uh, tokens or the goldy tokens? The silvery tokens. Still good. Still good. Still love that for me. Ooh, and I'm going to unlock sawdust here in just a minute because that's the next thing that I can unlock with my. That's the next lowest upgrade that I can do with my road dust. Love that. Was that was that priest? I can never yes. remember. Like it's it's been very long. It sure was. Elon had workers taken. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So so this 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 absolute fucking genius goes and is like, all right, go take the Twitter off of the sign. <laughs> So he didn't get a permit for this. He didn't get permission from building management. So the building owner calls the cops and says, hey, yeah, we didn't clear this. The city didn't clear this. So the cops, being useful for a change, come and they actually take the fucking, um, like they tell them to, to stop taking it down. So like the sign guys are like, listen, we at least have to make it like not unsafe and not just have like live wires hanging out here. So they kind of wrap up what they're doing, and yeah, it just has the ER. So it's just er. er. I did know I'm that. Sure that's Ali, I sure that's language. Did. It's a pretty good song. I enjoy it. And the bird. Bird's still there. Yeah. Uh, employees were told to remove any and all bird related paraphernalia from their work areas. So, you know, anybody who still works there by choice, like, un un 
they can get a job somewhere else, I feel, and they've had the opportunity to get a job by now. I just feel like it's, the people who are remaining are mostly just sycophants at this point, and people who just desperately need the work. That's it. There's no in-between for this fucking company. Like, I know jobs are not the easiest to get, and, but at this point, you've had warning. You know what this what's going on here. It just... What did he name his child? I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. He put numbers and fucking weird, oh. like, symbols into it. Yeah, he named his kid. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, the market is really saturated. It is. It is really saturated. It is. It'll bounce back in the next few months, though. Because then they'll need people to actually build the things to make them more money. And they'll be like, oh yeah, we need to hire more people. And then they'll, the cycle will be going anew. And tech workers need to fucking unionize. God, I wish there was a QA workers union. I do too. I do too, pal. Join, join that shit tomorrow. Tech workers need a union. Unions are not just for... For... People in like uh, like blue collar trades and shit. Like look at look at the the writers and actors unions, and look at the way that like all all of the shit that's coming out about the the residuals that they're making, literal pennies that they're making, while things like studios and streaming services are making millions off of these this these people and their work, and these people are seeing. In some cases, literally not even a dime of it. Wait, that's how it's pronounced? No. No, absolutely fucking not. No, I'm sorry, my pronunciation is correct. Oh, what was that one more time? <laughs> that's... oh boy. Are you sure you're using the right dialect for that? Yeah. Not... Okay. Yeah. It's a... It's regional. <laughs> what, like steamed hams? Yes. <laughs> Aurora <laughs> Borealis! <laughs> at this time of year, <laughs> at this time of day, localized, localized entirely, entirely in your kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> yes. Uh, May I see it? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, Liz, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Just, what? What a fool. What an absolute fucking troglodyte. What an unevolved, just... <sighs> What a punchable face. What an absolutely punchable face. Oh man, that feels nice. <sighs> I could take my year out on him. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Yeah, and I'm now medically clear to do so. My contribution is A12. A12 is my contribution. Hi, Karen. Karen? I just, How are you, Karen? My my cat has an infinitely more sensical and better name than his human child. Well, in fairness, cat is perfect. Hello. That's a baby. She's just a baby. Yes. The kid begged for a name change moments out of the womb, probably. Probably. Fucking... Well, this is the one... This is the one that he had with who? Fucking Grimes? Or his stepsister. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, Grimes. Why is your name Grimes? Do you grime? Alright, I can do sawdust now. Can go go to the old sawmill. Beautiful. Karen, what are you up to? Where's my Karen button? I have a Karen button. There's my Karen As button. Should. As we all should. That's the Karen button. It it says it says go give Karen love. She is the she is the foremost talent on pyrography. That is wood burning. Excellent, excellent work. Such very chill vibes. Just an absolute lovely lady. They had a child they named Y. I don't know why they did that. That's the question that child will be asking itself its entire life. Oh, fuck's sake. You gotta go burn your search history. See, this is why you do that shit incognito. By the way, um, I just want to warn everyone, it is just a matter of time before Krakow does something to break the Geneva Conventions, so I just want to be prepared when that eventuality happens. Um, he does want to conduct human experiments to activate the genes that are dormant in our DNA to give us feathers, so... That's going to happen at some point. I don't know when, but him and Bobo it's... plan to get stoned and do it. Is that why he keeps asking me to engage him in a pillow fight? I think so, yes. I think so. Well, <laughs> he's trying to give you a subpar combat experience then, because you know he should be asking for, you know, a battle with sock and boppers. Oh, sock and boppers. That's the good stuff. No, Liz, that's okay. That's a, that's different, though. That's different. That's 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 nothing to be shameful about. Searching for Elon Musk and, you know, why he's naming his children the way he is, that's something That's something that you might have some shame about. Your porn preferences are no shame. Listen, as long as it <laughs> doesn't matter, as long as it's legal and consensual. Is that your species erotica? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Finish work, have one more day this week and then four days off for your birthday. Look at you go, Karen. I miss my donkey. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Karen, what are you doing for your birthday this year? Since it's Cracko, we have nothing to worry about. I mean, he's got Bobo it's now. It's so... we have everything to worry about. Yeah, so we have everything to worry about. And... She only stops him from hurting himself, not the rest of us. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, that's a good point. Well, no, that's not true. Bobo likes us specifically here. In this community but other than that the odds are pretty much against everyone else <gasps> make the dinner mochi I made the dinner tonight it was delicious and I liked it very much I love dinner New Orleans hand pie Ooh, hand pies I haven't had a hand pie in a long time the secret ingredient is hand <laughs> the secret ingredient is food <laughs> Carl! <laughs> Carl, that kills people! Carl! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, my, my stomach was making the rumblies that only hands could satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, well, I kill people and I, I eat hands. That's, that's two things. <laughs> Your content related to him and your fees will be flooded with it. Yeah, that's fucking true. Gonna eat oh, some cake, shit. that's about all? That's fair. That's fair. Guess what? Hmm. That's what I'm about to unlock. What are you about to unlock? Mega Ava. Oh my god! So, there are vacuums in this game that you can buy, and I have persistent vacuums, which means every time that I unlock a vacuum now, when I do the Chivo. prestige, I get to keep the vacuums that I've unlocked, which is great. Yeah. Um, so the vacuum store... You can see you start off with a 
You start off with a beginner vacuum, then you can upgrade to a basic bitch vacuum, then there's the turbo stick, the dust assassin, the dust eliminator, and now I'm on the eradicator, which is a, it's a backpack vacuum. You see, I'm wearing it. You can see it on my back there. Um, but if you keep going, you can get the gravity backpack and then the mega Ava. It's a Roomba that you ride on. You're like, uh, you're like one of those cats, you know, who just rides around on the vacuum. It's, that's exactly what it is. Here I uh, go, just whooshing about. Uh, I don't have quite enough for that yet, Liz. Um, I have, I have a lot, but I don't have quite enough for that. Actually, I think I might turn off the Ava upgrades right now, because they're, they're in a pretty great place. I had to turn off everything to do this so that it would actually build up enough dust for me to sell. Yeah, I might I might do that with... Let's actually but do that for... I waited until I got to the highest level I could get to at, in my current state. And then waited for that to, you know, work up a little bit. Alright, I'm, I've turned off all of my, uh, my shop bots except for the sawdust one because I want that to continue... It needs some it needs some love down here. So we're gonna let that continue and do its thing. Guess I can uh, I need how much do I need? A hundred million. Yep, so that's gonna be a while. Yeah, well Mega Ava is a billion. Uh, I mean that sounds about right. What's my uh I get 22,000. Not bad. That's not a bad time to prestige once you like actually get enough to do that unlock. When I was first playing this, I was concerned that if you like spent your dust and then got the money or you sold your dust and got the money and spent it on upgrades, it would reduce your the amount of coins that you would get from your prestige, but no, it's cumulative. So it's it's mm -hmm. everything that you've gotten during that current uh, place like since the last time you prestiged. Zero turn vacuum. I was I was a little sad, and I'm gonna make sense, but I was a little sad to see when I got to Sawdust that that you can't get any more Avas. Yeah. I mean, eventually it would just... It would just be a screen full of Avis. Things. But I haven't gotten to the place where I maxed them all out either, mm. so... I've maxed out all but two categories a couple of times, but... A couple of them have, like, 50 levels. Oh, uh, Ellie's going because there's... She's... She... She's gonna go have the Arby's. Enjoy, enjoy Arby's. Oh. See you in ten minutes. <laughs> really, an entire ten minutes? Poor play. Oh, well, that's her. Appetizers, I mean. Go get that horsey sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, so just queue up Genuine's pony. <laughs> you don't know who Genuine is. Genuine is genuine. <laughs> Continually saying his name isn't going to help me know who he is. <laughs> uh, uh. One of my favorite things in Parks and Rec was like in the last season, I think it was, when it was like the future, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And it's Donna's wedding. Um, oh yes. So her and Joe are getting married, and like uh, uh, April pulls the entire like all of her family into the kitchen and is telling them like they better get their shit together because it's Donna's wedding, and you know she, they don't want she doesn't want anything like bad to happen. Um, and like, and she looks at Genuine, and is like Genuine, get it together. He's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess it's just hilarious that he's just actually there. <laughs> oh, that was really good. 
And then when like at the like at the end of the episode when Donna's like, you know, my family's oddly been really well behaved today, and she was a little disappointed. She wanted a little bit of that Meagle family yes. drama. And then so so like April arranges and like gets her brother. Um what was his name? Dontavius, I think. With the microwave. Yeah, and like it just breaks the microwave, the microwave and it just smashes it at the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that was great. Faf! Faf, hi, buddy. Happy Tuesday. How are you, pal? Uh, what say you? No, 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 no. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> that was three minutes ago, so Louie and Ellie should be back any minute. And... Eh. She's done milking the haggis. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep, that's that's <laughs> the correct reaction. That is one of my favorite things that I have done for this stream is to put that in. I love it so much. All right, I'm at seven million. I'm at seven percent. Like, it's just like so fast now. Where like I'm into the next dirt type and onto the next location. Mm. Like, there's a point where that you know hits a wall, but I haven't hit the big turning point yet. But I do. I do need to get there. Uh, oh, I have a chest. Uh, ooh, I got 446 more of the, um, the silver tokens. That's good. Um, I don't have enough for the Avas to pick them up yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Ooh, I earned another Chivo. Playtime. Nice. I have 50 gold coins, and they all want some trips. Nice. This is a 24-hour suck fest? Oh my god, you made it just in time. It's the... It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. Batsy, what are you doing? This is it. This is all I do now. This is this is the entire stream. It's just the vacuum game. This is as much brain power as I have this week. I'll fire something while this is happening. You know. Mm-hmm. I do at some point. Um, I'm I'm gonna do some daytime like co-working streams. Uh, so I'm going to do. Probably set up Placid Plastic Duck Simulator because I have that and most of the DLC for it. And so sit there and have ducks, and people could name their ducks. You know, pick which duck they want named after them, and then you know, then we'll vote on which duck Viv is today. Nah. You're really good at being depressed, so you made yourself a fried zucchini sandwich, some lavender ginger ale, so you get toasty and hang. Ooh, fried zucchini sounds delicious. Uh, there's a chicken chain based here in Tampa called PDQ, um, and their chicky tendies is their their big thing. And zucchini fries have recently made it back to their menu. I'm very excited about that. I 
I need I need a hundred million fucking uh, uh, cash to be able to afford the next vacuum. Oh man, have you ever reached a point in a video game where you realize that there is a whole stockpile of your inventory that's just filled with shit that's sole purpose is just to sell it for money? Mm, I've done that before. And love then making you money. Get that giant surplus of money, and you buy stuff. I love stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much giant zucchini that one of the coworkers grew. I only need three slices to stuff that sandwich. Batsy's out here eating a giant zucchini, putting a giant zucchini in her mouth. You heard it here first, folks. You guys make money. Batsy, Batsy, these guys have jobs? Something like that. Putting giant zucchinis in your mouth is one of your redeeming qualities? That's fair. Batsy is forever sliding into people's DMs around here, almost exclusively mm -hmm, for food. She she does do that. She do do that. <laughs> you said doo-doo. Yeah, that's a poop joke. Um, let's see. By the way, uh, I just want everyone to know uh, that I have received uh, a few minutes ago. Um, it's gonna be one of two things. Oh, good. It's the good thing. Hold on, hold on. But wait. But wait. There's more. If you act now, oh, we will. <laughs> we will take. We will take your cinnamon's roll, and we will do give it a heck and strange. Oh. <laughs> Look at the chunk. She, she looks like an exclamation point. She does. <laughs> she does, because that's how I feel every time I see her is an exclamation point. That's how I feel. Look at that chunk. Observe the chunk. Just so chunk, so that soft. That baby's eating good. Yeah, she is. She doesn't even eat that much either. That's the thing. Like, she's just so small. She's just a littlest kitten's cat. She's just a baby. I thought it was either going to be loaf content or something Krakow did. Uh, yeah, that's... So I was like, oh, thank God it was the good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Those are our options. That's... Yeah. Yep. Forever hashtag blessed that she gave you head bonks. Yeah, she did. It's true. Uh, one, one day, Bean was on the... She was on a call with Batsy. They were doing their nails together, and... Uh, Loaf came up and head bonked the phone while Bean was on Discord call with Batsy. Oh. Yeah. She's a very good Loaf. Mm -hmm. This cracker, we could not show it on stream. That's. There's like a 50 50 shot, Alibeth. There's like a 50 mm -hmm. 50 shot that, that anything Cracko could not be shown on stream, yes. You have accidentally seen, seen the things that Cracko sends others. Yeah. You should oh, be in God. that. You should be in that group chat. That's me, him, Tom, well, and, and Bean. She sort of, she sort of came home yesterday. <laughs> did she? Did she catch you in a in a Krako message? <laughs> did Ali Beth come home early and catch you in a DM with Krako? <laughs> and she, she saw. I had the group chat up. And she saw the Cookie Monster thing. Oh God, the Cookie Monster thing. <laughs> Yeah, I know you do not want to be in that group chat. That group chat is cursed. Yeah, it's real cursed. It's super cursed. Uh, cookie monster thing. No, uh, trust me. Nope. Just nope. Nope. Leave it alone. <laughs> no, yep. I have seen a particularly brutal thing involving Cookie Monster and some Power Rangers earlier today. Nope. There were nope. no. Thank God, no Power Rangers involved. No Power Rangers were oh. harmed in the making of that meme. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, good, because there were several harmed in the making of the one that I, that I saw. <laughs> it, uh, it made me long for, this, for the safety of fan-made Sonic content. Woof. My, <laughs> <laughs> the one I saw involved Cookie Monster kicking the ever-loving shit out of three Power Rangers, so... Uh, you know. Well, that's preposterous. Hey, remember that time Just, that Allie Beth forgot about the Cookie Monster thing and then she remembered because you reminded her? I mean, I had to see it. <laughs> yeah. Bean's like, I want to be in that group chat. And I'm like, do you? Are you sure? She's like, yeah, why not? And I'm like, okay. And she has, she has halfway regretted it ever since, but she's just morbidly curious enough to stay. You know, perhaps, perhaps in the future that will teach you not to, uh, you know, snoop around my screens when you come around the corner. What manager do I have here? Oh, that's the money multiplier. I need the spawn rate person here. Because I need to get more. Yeah, there we go. It was just kind of, it was kind of just there. <laughs> yeah, that's how having things open on your computer works. Alibeth walks in the door and Tom's, Tom's DMs are just out. He just got them out and, you know. In front of, in front of the Lord and everybody. I love watching the Avas push the chests around like Neom. That's because you don't have that upgrade. I know, I don't have enough. Well, I guess I could get it in the next, um... They go Wizzy crunch. Witchy. Yeah. They go thick. They go like that. Back off from James Vanderbeek about 15 years ago. Uh, that sounds very familiar, Fritz. Literally, no. That sounds familiar. Katie Sackhoff. I, listen, I don't remember much about. I don't even career. know who that is. <laughs> Tom, have you, uh, Tom, have you watched The Mandalorian at all? Nope. Okay. She's in that. She's actually been um, in the Star Wars franchise, in the animated stuff for a while now, and now live action in uh, The Mandalorian. She plays, um, what the hell is her name? Genuine. Just genuine. It's genuine. <laughs> genuine. You know what genuine? <laughs> I mean, what's, what's, the name? what's her name from The Mandalorian? Yes. Bo-Katan. Thank you. She plays Bo-Katan in, in the Star Wars um, universe. Wait, which one of those is a first name? Is it Bo or is it Boca? Sure. Oh, it, it, you misheard. It's not Boca. It's Bofa. Oh, <laughs> is it? Yeah, both of these. Slow, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, Bo-Katan is her first name. It's like Bo-Katan... Uh, oh. Starts with an R. I don't remember the rest of it. The House of Pima Petalon. Huh? Oh, Kreese. Thank you. Beans on top of it. She knows. You mean what Fritz put in the chat like 12 minutes ago? Yes, that. Yes. I'm sorry. I missed it. Yes, Fritz said it first. I, I see it now. <laughs> when will Fritz get the proper credit? Jesus Christ. <laughs> How much longer will Fritz be overlooked? Your uh, anti-Fritz agenda has been uh, apparent for some time now. At least another <laughs> six months. <laughs> Makes her name sound like a 7-Eleven Slurpee flavor. <laughs> uh, do me a Coca-Cola crease.
Let's see. You can get an Icy, or you can go to 7-Eleven and get a Slurpee, or you can go to Moss Eisley and get a Kreeze. You know, guys, I'm aside. I'm never uh, really that into the Slurpee or the Freezy or like in it, that sort of drink. Uh huh. I don't know. I think like it, it kind of dictates how fast you can drink it. I think is my. Well, if you're an problem. amateur. I just wanna, you know, hop on that straw and go to town. Yeah, well, you can if you're not an amateur. Just do like me yeah. and get a lobotomy and you're fine. You don't get, <laughs> can't get brain freeze if you don't have a brain. Dr. Pepper Icy, I could see that working out. Uh, there was a brand, there's another brand that uh, was big in the South for a long time uh, called Slush Puppy. Um, ah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it was Slush Puppy and then they had uh, a, a different version of the Slush Puppy. That we actually had a machine for this at my first middle school that they would occasionally run on Fridays uh, and you could go and get a Vita Pup. It was like a miniature slush puppy. Yeah, see? Allie Betts remembers. That's, it's, that's, a, that's a southern thing. Speaking of word association, mm -hmm. um, Arby's right now. Okay. I, I'll explain why we were looking at this in a second, but one tangent at a time. Sure. On their limited time menu has hush puppy breaded fish sticks. Oh, fish. I try uh, that. Fish tenders, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that's just an FYI. Chicky, I was looking at chicky the of the sea tenders. Because we were talking about egg salad, and then I don't remember where that led, but something about being putting grapes, oh, grapes and tuna, maybe. I don't. Uh, remember. Uh huh. Uh huh. But I was remembering, I think it was Arby's chicken salad used to have grapes in it. Yes. And, and now they don't even have the chicken salad. No. So maybe they'll, maybe they have it for like a limited time. And that's how I found the Hush Puppy thing. Oh, I didn't know Slush Puppies were a thing in Kmart's like me. Like... Oh, apples and tuna salad. I was way off. Oh, apples. That's, I mean, that's, no. You're, you're... Listen, I'm doing the best I can. Listen, I know isn't very good. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm doing the best I can, and it's it's the worst. <laughs> ah. In fairness, Liz, Ohio's the Florida of the North, so. What's Ohio? The void. No one even knows. That's half the fun. It's, it's a weird word, and been... keep saying it, and no one knows what it means. Was, is this is it like the state that never ends? Mm. Oh no, it, it definitely comes to an end. Ohio is corn children. So uh, going on over here. Oh yeah. I wonder, I wonder if I'll be able to get the uh, the new vacuum before the end of stream. Doubt it. One way to find out. Guess so. I will say I do have one of my managers uh, is like a ten percent money increase. So when I get ready to sell like the next big batch of them, I'll. Uh, and I guess I could do that now just to see where it's where it puts me. Money multiplier, 10%. Uh, I'm at 14. That's not bad. All right, let's put the, uh, let's put the 10% spawn rate back on there. The road, I want. Yeah, you, yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. This is good. Flavor of icy in the south that mom said she could only get with shun shun the leaves in and the such. Oh. Regional stuff is just. I love that kind of shit. Hmm. 
Like Bucky's. Love of Bucky's. Oh man, it's a it's it's an almost religious experience. There's I've heard I've heard a lot of things about the Bucky's. You have. They have a they have a, a snack there that you can get. It's one of their signature snacks called Beaver Nuggets. It's <laughs> it's ba yeah. It's basically uh, just a big old bag full of oversized uh, corn pops. Mm. Yeah, they're delicious. Frog water. That sounds like something to come out of Louisiana. Frog water. Are you still set to upgrade? Uh, you are. What's the next upgrade on your list? 25. Now, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you be. You're gonna, you're just gonna... I love all my little roombies. They're just, they're just so nice. They're doing their best. They are, they're doing great. You're doing great, Roombies. I kind of want a snack now. Oh, I forgot to bring my plums upstairs. Got plums. We got Which these. Uh, your legs. That's different. We got some. Uh, we got some cherry plums, um, which are pretty much what. They uh, they sound like. <gasps> Ooh, Batsy's back, but there's ads. No, I cannot wait until the uh, we can get notified in the API for ad breaks. They're getting there though. They are they are working their way to it because they do notify you in chat when ad breaks are about to and currently running in your stream review, which I I do appreciate. There might be something, because I was in a stream earlier that had the bot posting, whatever bot they're using, uh, an ad break is about to begin, or like some kind of warning for people. So... It didn't say, it didn't say how long until it started, but it was like a general, hey. So some people are doing a lot of that. A lot of people are doing that manually um, because that was my you, question. Yeah, yeah, you can run ads manually, and you've been able to do that through the app, the API for quite a while now, where you can actually like trigger an ad from the API. Um, there is no, there's currently no official way to know when a scheduled ad break is going to run, um, and to interact with that in any way. That's a there are a lack there of foresight are, on their part. Yes. I well, agree. there are a couple of bots that do it right now, but they're using undocumented things to do it. So, one, they shouldn't be, and two, it will eventually break because you're using undocumented features. Um. But yeah, yeah. They gave us a bunch of new APIs for Guest Star. Because, you know, so many people use guest star and nobody uses ads, I guess. I don't know. It's really weird. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. So, yeah, um, I had a, I meant to bring up my snack earlier, but I was so full of pasta and sauce that I forgot about it. But we got these cherry plums, and they're basically what they sound like. They're, they're a little cross between a cherry and a plum, so they are more plum. Um... But this little, this little stone fruit, 
Oh, Tom, thanks for gifting a uh, a sub to the Batsy. There will be no more of this ad shit for you. Um, but they're they're little they're little things. They're they're basically like a little bit bigger than a cherry, uh, sized plums, and they're very delicious. I love plums. I grew up with a plum tree uh, in our yard and loved them, loved them, loved them. So. Yeah, those have been really good. I've really enjoyed eating eating the plums. They're plum delicious. We shouldn't have to wait to share all of our dirty commentary so that you can see ads. No, that's true. They 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 do have a decent pit in them, yeah. Yes, Batsy, you can. You sure can. Nature is healing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish cleaning up the office. Well, finish like the next phase of cleaning the office. I have like a plastic tote tub back in the corner back here, which I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Um, the mirrors that I have in there, my portal mirrors that I made fucking... You know, 12 years ago, I'm going to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to donate those, because why not? Um, I mean, I just don't have anywhere to put them. And then the totes, I will do something with. And I'll actually be able to use that corner to store things in, which will be nice. Because I can get some things, probably get some stuff out of the closet, like my box of cables. And put it over there, so it's more easily accessible, and I can just shimmy under the desk and slide that out and have more room in the closet uh, but also um, get some of this other miscellaneous stuff out and I just I just need to clean things up another project that I want to do is I want to get a repair kit for my flute and try to fix that <clears throat> because it is your skin flute no that's that's not that one <laughs> the other one uh, and see if I can fix it. I found a repair kit with like new pads and stuff uh, for 16 bucks on Amazon, so that's not bad. Um, so I'm I might do that and fix that, and maybe reteach myself how to play it because it's been so long. I would like to get that instrument overhauled, but I don't think that's financially wise right now because that'll cost a couple hundo, and uh, I'm not about to spend that kind that's, of money on that. That's generally the sort of thing someone with a job does. That's, yeah, yeah. Well, if I'm going to spend my money on... About that. What's that? Things that people do when they have jobs. Oh, yeah. Uh, I will, however, say that I am, uh, you know, like, my, I've got, you know, I've got priorities right now. Like, one, the household expenses. That's always priority one. Two, um... TwitchCon, that's that's my next thing that I want to, if I'm going to spend money on, is that. So, you know, living on a living on a pretty strict budget right now. If I can make sure that I take care of those things. <coughs> you good? I'll live. Okay. Mostly to spite you. That's fair. I'll get you one day, Potato Man. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll get you one day, Potato Man. Never. Tom's just like, Tom takes a potato out of the oven and sits down with it with like a the little butter dish like I have the butter. butter. I love butter. I know you do. I mean who among us? It's all creamy and salty and stuff. Butterish. Mmm. As 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 Paul Hollywood would say, butchery. Butchery. Moist! 
Moist. Ew. I found the tea rather moist as well. I found it shallow and pedantic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sales right now uh, all right let's let's put the money person in here let's sell everything see where we get to oh we're at 34 mm, it's pretty good it's pretty good bond rate get back in there ever's got an earful well I mean in fairness Liz that's that's literally their job. That's what they get paid to do. Mm -hmm. If they, if, if she didn't want, you know, if she didn't want to get an earful of the things that were going on or the things that were troubling you, then that she wouldn't have chosen that profession. You would think. You would think. of volcano of emotions yeah but again she knows that these things happen she's she's a professional mm. that's you know all part of all part of the job well, hopefully i mean well <laughs> it's for, for liz's sake hopefully a professional yes i'm sure Liz, does, Liz strikes me as the kind of person who would not choose a therapist lightly. Don't mind just me. Picturing just picturing Krakow in a windowless van that has therapy written in spray paint on the side, but the Jeez. R is reversed. God! <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, he's wearing a lab coat inside. He listen. Oh, and you, you know, like that headband they would wear that had like the reflective circle bit on the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Like the little. He's also little wearing that diddly guy right here. Yeah, little yeah. diddly guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Cracker was talking about him and Bobo going into a a spirit Halloween and getting a lab coat and getting doctor embroidered on it so that they could do their lab experiments on and try to give people the feathers. <laughs> This liter this oh, is gosh. the conversation that happened yesterday in the Discord. If you're not in oh, the Discord, these are the things that you miss by not being in the Discord. I heard I heard uh, my missus doing cackles. She did do the cackles, yeah. There was you better believe that was a cackling. Yeah, Liz was also there, yeah. I looked at it, but there was a lot of people in there and uh, that was too many. That's fair. I had to inevitably go do my job because, you know, my boss recently quit like a jerk. No, your boss is still there. He's coming back from vacation tomorrow. Your former boss right, my quit. Boss before that, quit. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. Allie Beth gets up from a nap and joins the Discord. In, she comes into the arcade where there's me, Liz, Louie, Cracko. I think Bobo was was there at the time. And Batsy. And Lolly, were you still there at that point? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, you had, you had already pieced out to go do work stuff. This guy with his job. Um, very people-y in there. Yeah. Well, a little people-y and a lot of wild animal-y. Bobo popped in after you get... I got you. Okay, I can't... Listen, it's... A lot happened yesterday in the Discord... Actually, a lot happened yesterday in general. Like, I did some of the stuff in the office. 
Um, I had a friend of mine who actually had a recruiter reach out to me for a reference for him. He's trying to get a new job. Um, so they're like, "Fuck that guy. He's a dick. Don't hire him." Oh, actually, please tell me it's not someone that I work work with. No, 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 no. That's this is actually someone oh, Tom God. knows. This is someone Tom remembers from way back in the old dev days. This is uh, Dunnigan, my buddy down in from Naples. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually I have do remember that guy. Believe it or not, issues right now. <laughs> You what now? I said I have enough abandonment issues right now. Oh, you're fine. Hey, did you find that note that I left? I didn't go look. I had a lot of stuff to do. Well, you know what you should have did instead? I had a lot of stuff to <laughs> take a nap. Take a nap? It would have been a very good nap. <laughs> that email. I took a nap. I took a good nap. Work meeting. I took a nap. Uh, I actually had um, one of the old dev guys reach out to me and ping me about something that he uh, wants me to take a look at for him. So I told him to throw something on the old calendar he do, and so we'll hopefully he'll... Uh... Then tell him what your consulting fee is. Yeah, you should see his. <laughs> I know what his right, is. But... Well, I know what his was fucking ten years ago. But you didn't ask him. <laughs> well, that's all right. It's... I, I know he's good for it. <laughs> well, now he owes you a consulting. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, it's 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 media it's media related stuff. So not like entertainment related, but media related nonetheless. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing uh, what he's got for me. That should be a good time. That's really what I like. The, again, and, and I talked about this on Sunday, and I took you know I posted it in the Discord, but. I really want to focus on the media stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, stream is part of that, but the voice acting stuff, um, I want to start ramping up on that in the next week or two uh, and start applying to a lot more jobs, um, working on different projects. I know there are going to be projects that I'm going to do that will be, you know, low or not paying, um, but I also know that, you know, in the grand industry of voice acting, no one knows who the no one knows or cares who the fuck I am, so... I've got to build a portfolio and a name for myself. So that's what I'm hoping to do. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So fingers crossed. Ooh, I got a chest. I have two chests. Ooh. I time lapsed uh, several minutes. One of like, them was one of them was drawn by Mochi. God. Ah. Oh, I, love, I love when these little fellas pick up the chess. It is on my list. Uh, how many? What can I get now? I could get thirty-one thousand uh, of them there tokeny dues from the gravity well that's nice comprehending why you have trouble believing when people say they like enjoy and love you that's good i'm glad that sounds like you're starting to have a little bit of a breakthrough you know now it's now the time is to try to get you know to the other side of that i like you if i didn't like you you know we wouldn't keep you around. You know me. If I don't like somebody, I'll give them. The, I'll show them the fucking door. I like, make... This is lovely. Is this mahogany? Hmm. It is. You should take a look at it from the other side. <laughs> that was me. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I scared the cats. I got that. I hey, rem there. remember, remember when Krakow for like a year thought that Bean was actually a cat and, and didn't realize and that right. she was my wife? It's kind of a cat. Bean is no Bean is absolutely a cat and. Also Wilma Flintstone. Also Wilma Flintstone, yeah. 
Yeah. That's her own doing. Yeah. I can't be yelled at for that later. She was the first to say it. No, 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 no. It's true. It's true. Listen, it's the, it's the, you know, the Flintstone slash like Family Guy thing. It's where some loud, fat idiot in, inexplicably ends up with an attractive redhead. <laughs> yes, you are in this scenario, Alibeth, you are Betty Rubble, yes. could do worse. It's true. <laughs> that also means our future son is going to be fucking their future daughter. Which is probably how it would turn out in real life anyway. I mean, honestly, true. Yeah, no, like, Alibeth, you, you, uh, you got a, you got a really good, uh, really good deal out of that one. And you marry the guy that comes up and goes, <laughs> Are you a friend? I do do that. Yeah, it's true. You, you do. <laughs> We all know that I have random just bits of trivia just knocking around up here, right? So, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I don't know if uh, how many people know this, but Fred and Wilma Flintstone are actually the very first TV couple to be shown in the same bed together. Um, I did actually know that. Yep. I forgot it, but I did know that. Yep. So, prior to that, all couples on television, due to standards and practices, um, always showed couples sleeping in separate beds. Uh, Fred and Wilma Flintstone were the first couple to be shown on television to sleep in the same bed. Uh, I, I, th I think... I oh, think what, so. Have half the trivia? Boo. It's, listen, I don't want... Um, she, that's that's second. I know first. That's all I know. Listen, if you ain't first, you last, Ricky Bobby. Uh, Ricky, I was high when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Ricky Bobby, so um, you you know, uh, I'm sure you remember sportscaster Rich Eisen, right? Um, he's got his own show now, his own like podcast dealio, as so many of these guys do. And he was interviewing Christopher Nolan the other day, talking about Oppenheimer and his career and shit like that. And so Rich asks Christopher Nolan, says he's like, hey, listen, he's like, what what are the movies that you like to watch? Um, you know, what are the things that you really enjoy watching? And Christopher Nolan, you know, again, the guy who made Oppenheimer and who made like, you know, the really gritty Batman series with Christian Bale several years ago and etc. And so he's like, he's like, you know, I'm. I'm a really big fan of anything of Stanley Kubrick's, you know, stuff like that. He's like, and Talladega Nights, if I see that on, you know, that's, that's, some, I'm not changing it. And it's like, that's just like, just <laughs> Talladega Nights. Ah, <laughs> uh, just yeah. fantastic. Uh, enjoys a laugh. Just love it. And I'm just, just going to sit here like, I don't know what to do with my hands. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I have no idea what the fuck Mary Kay and Johnny is. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Wait, they were the first... That's... Oh. Well, then it wasn't the Flintstones. It had to be them because that's the the Flintstones didn't start airing until the '60s. And this was in the uh, late '40s, early '50s when this aired. Well, then this whole thing was just a big wash, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess so. 
Oh my god. Okay, so you know how I told you you can stop the vacuum from moving? Yeah, when you right click. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do that on the giant Ava, the little light starts blinking. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> That's um that's amazing. Did you see the uh the milkshake that Bopper put into Yeah Tug's Discord? In Tug's last Discord? Night? I sure the fuck did, pal. Well Did it bring all the boys to the yard? It brought everyone to the yard. It brought me and Tom, that's for sure. <laughs> my my wife has found a place locally that uh has very similar offerings. Ooh. Um, let's head over to the menu here. I uh, I might have to. I've been thinking about treating myself to a little steak and shake since it's right around the corner. I might do that okay, so one day this week. So they have, you know, you can get a classic milkshake. Yeah. Your choice of ice cream and one topping. Okay. But. They have four monster shakes. Ooh, okay. First one's called first one's called Batter Up. It's a cake batter shake, a rainbow sprinkle rim, three mini cupcakes, a whipped topping, and a caramel drizzle. You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> the second one's called Double Stuff. It's an Oreo milkshake with an Oreo rim, three Oreos, whipped topping. And a Hershey Hershey's syrup a drizzle. Ooh, I like that. Uh, but wait, there's more. Just dough it. Cookie dough shake. Chocolate sprinkle rim. Cookie dough bites. Two waffle edges. Whipped topping. A Hershey's syrup drizzle. I'm a I'm a sucker for cookie dough ice creams. Yep. And yeah, like the last just... one. The last one is torched s'more. Ooh. Double dark chocolate shake, graham crumb rim, three torched marshmallows, a whipped topping, and a Hershey syrup drizzle. Oh my god, yep, that's, yep, a Horeo, that's, no, Batsy, that's you. That's you, buddy. Damn. Carson, no, no, she freely admits she is the Horeo cakester. Um, Carson, hi, buddy, how are you? Get the munchies so fucking bad. Oh my god, Batsy, are you high? <laughs> but, but we all... That's unlike you, Batsy. <laughs> just, just Batsy's just like... <laughs> I'm not high and I have the munchies. That's... <laughs> That's my secret, Captain. I'm always hungry. <laughs> it's true. You were. It's true. You were sober yesterday. We were, oh, we were in the arcade. That's too long. <laughs> I'm at 64 million. I'm, I'm definitely going to get this here. Uh, this new vacuum. What's this one called again? The Gravity Backpack. That's the new one. Liz, but if you if you eat the whole pizza now, that means you don't have pizza snack for later. So eat a little pizzas now, and then later it's like, ooh, look a snack, and it's pizzas. You could even eat it cold, which honestly, I'm a fan of cold pizza. I don't know if you are, but I am. Eh, not as much. Mm. Except for, um, well, uh, I eat mellow mushroom leftovers cold because it's such a bitch to heat up mellow mushroom for some but, reason yeah that's fair <laughs> oh i haven't had mellow mushroom in a hot minute but god it's so fucking good fresh there's a there's there used to be one by us and like their their specific uh specialties in that one particular location uh was buffalo chicken stuff so they had this buffalo chicken calzone that was Ugh, outstanding yes i loved it Love me a buffalo chicken calzone. Holy shit. Fried chicken? Cold fried chicken? Yeah. Yeah. 
Absolutely, I'll do it. With ketchup on it and everything. Yeah. That's... What? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put ketchup on shit. I'll put ketchup on all kinds of shit. Bunch of weirdos. Yeah. Go ahead and find me, FDA. You can't unstunt the ketchup. I don't remember. It was, oh, it was... It was... It was Tug's stream yesterday. It was like, we're gonna have to start requiring a license for ketchup operation. I put ketchup on my mac and cheese. I don't even care. I'll do it. I'll do... I'll fucking do it again. I love it. In fairness, though, Batsy and I were having this conversation yesterday... And, you know, she's she's New Jersey Italian, and, you know, they'll find an excuse to put tomatoes on everything. Oh, yeah, Fritz. Buffalo chicken calzone is just so good. Hey, tomato pie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever. There's a Chicago-style place right around the corner from the house. They keep getting sending me coupons, which, you know, I might take them up on it one of these days. Get like a you know small I started one. getting in the mail? What's that? Uh, people wanting to talk to me about Medicare. Well, you're like 80. What's your point? Okay. But except I'm not. <laughs> uh, aren't you, though? Not physically. Well. Not physically, no. Well, on paper. Not legally. On, okay, legally on paper, maybe not. Hey, listen, I have an ARP membership. I, I don't know what to tell you. I was like, where are they getting this information? Where's my, uh, I had my card out the other day. I don't know where it went. Um, where did I have it? Let's see, where was it? I had it, like, right here somewhere. Oh, let's see. It's definitely in your butt. Buffalo chicken from the other day. Mm. God, I love buffalo chicken. Oh, yeah. Erp, 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 erp. I'll cover up my number here just so you, you know, can't steal my ARP number, but there it is. ARP member expires on March 2025. Damn. I was gonna, gonna get some. I don't know. Yeah, you're not stealing like my discount to the Golden Corral. Whatever. Fuck you. Get your own Golden Corral discount. No. I have no one to go with. Oh, that's okay. I'll go with you, buddy. Hello. Hello. Let me Wait, you do? Why did I think you didn't? Well, wait a minute. I enjoy Golden Corral specifically for breakfast. Folks. Folks. Say hello. Ah! Put a bit in this. You could get baby. I get baby. It's a baby. Oh my god, it's a baby, that's a kid. Oh, look at her. It's a baby, that baby, I'm getting them good ear rubs, oh, she loves the ear rubs, she does, that's her favorite. Do the scritches, oh yeah, oh, her love to scritch, look at that little face. Oh, you want some scritches? Oh yeah, here you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He loves the scratches. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, she's getting real squinty eyed about it. Oh, oh yeah. It's very good. It's very good. I love you. I know. It's a good pepper. Very good. Oh, is the creature vibrating? Mm-hmm. You done? 
Good job, baby. Good job. Top notch loaf content. Real good stuff. Just the best baby in the whole world. Never been a better one. That kitten's cat. Just the best kitten's cat. It's true. It's true. I would commit war crimes for that cat. Not even have a second thought about it. Nope, everybody loves you. Yeah. Chicken bacon ranch pizza? Mmm, that sounds delightful. Oh, that's a good pizza. Wait, did we say from where? Did I miss that part? Uh, I don't think so. Where it from? Where yeah. it from? Where, f Liz, where from? If it's a local place, then don't worry about it. Oh, right. Yeah. Just oh, say from Domino's? Place. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. No, you've done well. I gotta say, I'm... I, Domino's gets a bad rap, but they're pretty good. In fairness, until they redid their recipes a few years ago, they were kind of shit. They're like the re the the re kajiggered recipes are a lot better than they used to be. I like a pan pizza from there. Oh, nice I, crispy, crispity edges. Oh, I love me a Pizza Hut pan pizza, man. The original it's a, pan it's pizza. It's just a little. It's a little too greasy. Most of the time. Oh, I, I'm 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 a greasy bitch. I love it. We have uh, we have given uh, Pizza Hut's cheesy bread a shot down here, and I don't know what they did to it over the last I don't know however many years it's been since I had Pizza Hut, but it's not the same, and I don't like it. Hmm. Of course, the cheesy I am, bread before I am was <laughs> like. <laughs> That's the boomerest thing you've ever said. It's different and I don't like it. You're like, <laughs> oh, <it's>... I. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of got you it's, there. It's different in a way that I don't like. It's it's I'm fine with change. It's just. It's just the way it... you said it was all. Yeah, <laughs> was I in, fa know. in fairness, if they if if in fairness, if if Elena made his chicken and rice with different rice, that would be different and he wouldn't like that either. Like this isn't my jasmine rice. He's a, he's a very he's a creature of habit and and you know what there's I respect that and Jasmine rice is actually the change not we've you just make it rice brown rice. see in the world. Batsy, I saw that in queer pizza. Batsy and her pizza conversion rates. Lolly's gonna be Dana Carvey's grumpy old man. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm actually making pizza stew for. Uh, <gasps> pizza for stew. Oh. oh, pizza. Or at least that was discussed. The legend of pizza stew. So for those oh, of you who advertise, well. For those of you who don't know, Tom makes this concoction called pizza stew, and pizza stew is great because it's really whatever you want it to be. Um, but pizza stew is a tomato-based stew, obviously, you know, because of tomato sauce on a pizza. Uh, you, you know, tend to season it with a little bit of Italian-style seasonings, again, to mimic that kind of sauce. And then you put whatever pizza toppings you like to put in it. We've done the mini pepperonis and mushrooms before, and it's just, mwah. Yep. Chicken and mushroom, uh, mm. chicken bacon mushrooms, sausage, mm -hmm. peppers. I don't know, whatever, however you like a pizza. That's mm -hmm. what's nice about it. Yep. You could make pizza stew ten weeks in a row, but actually have ten different dishes. It's true. It's true. Realistically, you don't even have to use pizza sauce. If you do like a I've cream, like a chowder base, it could almost be like a white pizza stew. Yeah, I've never experimented with other sauces, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work. I don't, I don't see why not. It's literally a definition of throw a bunch of shit in a pot. But the trick is that for the last half hour that it's in the slow cooker, you throw in your favorite small form pasta. Mm. Be little elbows. <laughs> I like, I like the Ditalinis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Tiny uh, shells. And it absorbs, absorbs all of that 
that souse. It does. And therefore, all of the flavors of all of the toppings that have been getting to know each other for the last eight hours. Mm -hmm. and they live inside the pasta now. And that becomes like your crust component of your pizza stew because it is the starch. And then you serve it in a bowl and you top it with your, your mozzarella. La 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 Pickety bam, no shit stains in your undies. Mm -hmm. Probably. Pot full of sauce mixed with shredded cheese on masked with tons of pepperoni. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. If that's, if that's how you like your pizza, then that's how you make your pizza stew. That's right. That's like I like onions in mine when I made it for where it was under bean. Bean doesn't like onions. So mm -hmm. guess what? No onions. Mm -hmm. Still came mm -hmm. out just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, cookies and cream ice cream sounds real good. Oh, garlic also goes real good in it. Oh but well, just, yeah. You gotta obviously. brown. You do have to brown your meats first. Yes. Um, you know. Get get that good it, flavor. I mean, not that it wouldn't. It would definitely cook the meats through, but you would lose a little something. Well, yeah. I also put a pinch of sugar to cut the acidity of the tomato sauce. That's a good one. That's a good one. You don't have to do this if you put corn in it. Oh, Sweet true. Corn will do the same thing. Corn will do that, yeah. Just remember, though, if you are you do put corn in your pizza stew, or any stew for that matter, um, you don't actually eat the corn. You are just borrowing that corn. You will give it back later. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever used corn in the pizza stew. I put it in my chili. For the mm. same reason, though. Cut, cut acidity. A lot, of, a lot of shit going on in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Anyhow, so, it's good stuff. Yeah. It's a legendary meal. It's and it's delicious, it is makes, what it is. It, it makes enough for, like, an entire week for two people. It's really good. And if you're feeling particularly not lazy, you might pop some garlic bread in. Oh, love a garlic bread. Yes. Grab meatloaf. Bacon, oh, weave. The bacon, bacon weave. weave loaf is on the docket. Yeah. I Also, I love... It's hilarious to me that because, like, the bot looks for any, any sort of version of loaf in a message. Oh. It popped up. Which is really, it really works out because the one that she put was talking about bacon wrap meatloaf. It's the one. It was the ah, ah, one that popped up. And Perfect. So you know. I wonder if that works. Let me see. Does that work? And in a related story, Eddie Murphy has offered oh Art Bookwald $10 million to take credit for Harlem Nights. <laughs> and now... This is great. Here with a commentary is a grumpy old man. Hello, grumpy old man. Uh, I'm not happy. I don't like this chair, and I don't like this desk, and I don't <laughs> like being here. <laughs> I'm a grumpy old man. I don't like everything the way it is now compared to the way it used to be. I don't like television. In my day, we had radio, and you couldn't see anything, and it was primitive and lousy, and we liked it. We liked it fine. We didn't have this technology. Uh. Yeah, look at these itty-bitty microphones. I hate them. So that's that's fantastic. I love that. Uh, but yeah, pretty much. No, Zam, that's 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 not you because he's not yelling, and he's also not he's smelling. He's kind of yelling. He's well, he's old man yelling. He's not like Zam does regular yelling. Zam does like burly bald guy yelling. Only thing that can soothe Zam's rage is a nice pair of anime titties. That's true. Zam does love anime titties. Yep, he d he do. There's a distinction. Yes, it's true. Mm. 
Yeah. I don't know. I personally like when Zam goes into his real talk scene. That's, his real talk scene is pretty. It's pretty great. Uh, it usually ends up being nonsense because it's Zam, but you know, he does just go off on like these weird tirades about shit. Oh, Zam! Zam, did you? Zam, did you take tonight off? Just because, like, I know you. I know oh. you legitimately had a long day. Oh shit! I just got twenty one hundred and fourteen tokens out of a chest. God damn. That's Wait. several tokens. That's unfortunately not enough to buy anything for me at this point. Okay, I thought so, Zam. Gadget? You know, I'm, I'm full of shit and go off on tirades. Perfect. Ex exact. Listen, that's why that's why this works here, Gadget. That's why it works. How you doing, pal? Oh, I just got another 10-minute boost. Where are we at? Mm. Yeah, I was actually... There was three chests waiting for me. So I got a 13 minute, a 14 minute, and then the money. Damn, that's not bad. But the cheapest thing I can buy is 6,400 coins right now. Yeah. Damn, I'm sorry, buddy. Where's my... Where's the... Yeah, shit. Sorry, Zam. Go follow Zam so that when he's... When he's not having a shit day, that you can go yell at him or watch him play video games badly and get his ass handed to him by alien frogs. I can promise you his streams are a good time. Yeah, and that's Tom doesn't say that lightly. For example, I even watched him play anime games. Yeah, that's the I anime hate those game. Fucking that's, things. That 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 got us a victory game. That's that's the anime titty game that he loves so much. Yeah. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. Here we go. Oh, the gravity backpack. Looks like a GPU attached by a hose. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> a vacuum it's just, head. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a it's just a 3090 with a hose attached to it and this is actually just my video card. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and I think now that I've done that, that's probably a good time to go ahead and prestige. Yeah, 37.5 yeah, isn't bad. I judge it by how fast it's gaining. Like, if it's sort of limping along like that, then it's probably time. Uh, Gadget, I'm actually doing really well. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with, with my decision. Uh, Lolly is very unhappy about it. And... Which makes him even happier. Well, I wouldn't say it's that. It's true. Man, but... That's why he did it. Listen, I'm he not... was like, I'm leaving. And then they were like, why are you leaving? And they are like, Lolly, fuck that guy. Uh, well, in <laughs> fairness, you do, you do kind of smell funny, pal. I know. I was worried yeah. about it, and then you left, and I was like, well, that confirms it. He's the last one that ever. And also, you go out of your way to offend him. I've never done that. No, you you would never. No, I don't Listen, get. It was Krakow today. I don't get daily messages from you going, I haven't offended you yet today. To be fair, it was Cracko that offended you today. Sam, go to bed. Go offends him every to. day. Go, go, Sam, have a snack and go to bed. A non-dairy snack and go to bed. Have a that, nap and then that's fire fine. some missiles. Yes. You just ate dinner. Perfect. Have a snack. Have a post-dinner snack and then go to go to sleepies. Medicated sleep is still sleep. It is. It's true. I had a lot of medicated sleeps when I had crippling shoulder pain. I'll tell you, Zequil is the deal. Oh, we'll go do your dailies. And then you needs to be played. Oh, well then go 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 do your dailies and go go look at anime titties and then go to bed. And that way you can dream of anime titties. That's true. That's true. 
It'll be the last thing you saw. This is really a perfect scenario. Yeah. You have you full belly, anime titties, can't lose. I'm going to bed uh, in roughly, let's see, stream ends in nine minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Zam, it's it's what we're here for, buddy. We're we are here to help you. We we encourage you to engage in these hobbies that you find enjoyable. It's true. Boy, I tell you what, this vacuum sure is uh, the bee's knees. Whoosh. The thing that's funny to me is, like, I've only purchased the first movement speed upgrade, and I'm already whooshing. I never like, bought one, because I felt like... I felt like it was moving too fast already for me, mm. so I just never bought a speed upgrade. That's fair. Wait, increase the amount of money you get from selling lumps by 25%. Oh, I might... Yeah, that's how I that's how I got the uh, giant Ava. Started dumping money into that. I'm trying to think, though. Do I want to... My prestige token multiplier, I can bump that. Or I can yeah, bump... Yeah, I don't know if there's a right answer. I feel uh, like it's going to come out in the wash, probably, but I don't I would, know. Yeah, I would say so. I, I mean, I'm going to... I refuse to math. That's also a good point. Uh... Lolly, Zam wants to know your secret of being good at life. Uh, that's the neat part. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> slash r slash brand new sentence. God. So r slash brand new sentence. Perfect. I love it. Uh, uh. I remember being on Reddit. Before, before Reddit had a CEO that... F yeah. Yeah. Before Rex, before Rex it. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I feel like this is going to be a prestige token round and not a lump round. Then the faster I can vacuum this stuff up, the faster I get more stuff. All right, let's go. I think my next round is going to be a sawdust duplicator round. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Because it takes fucking forever to get to coal. Yeah. Where my prestige? I have 1,500. Really, the only thing that I can buy with that right now is, like, additional dust buildup, which I don't need. I really do not need hey, right now. You say that. Well, right now, I'm not spawning fast enough to really care. Like, I've got... Like, I've got... A... The vacuum is... that I have is so good that I am just kind of... I'm just a Newman. Hello, Newman. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. I'm still very confused why he's Newman when, and stand up every morning. And I'm like, uh, it's because I called you that once. And, and it's stuck. Yeah. I'm committed to the bit. Yeah. In fairness, that was the that was kind of our whole team's thing was. Like, we latched on to things, and we did not let them go. Batsy, thank you for the lurk. We only got a few more minutes anyway. I look forward to when I have a vacuum so powerful, I barely have to move from the middle. I still just let the Avis handle most of this. Well, in fairness, look at them go. They're little robot buddies, you know? I've put my suggestion into the Steam discussion page. Nice. 
Because someone else had a bunch of suggestions, like the one before me. This wasn't one of them, but the guy actually responded to it, so... Oh, there you go. I felt more comfortable. It would be at least acknowledged, if not actually done. I wonder what the Discord bot thing is. I don't know. If you read further in the notes, it looks like it might be a bot for their own Discord. Yeah. Like, it looks like it gives you a role. Yeah. If you link Steam and Discord. Maybe if you join their Discord, you can, like, get bonuses in-game from it, because, I don't know. It, Weird. it said no. BRG has something like that. Oh. Where if you're if you're in their Discord, you can pick a um, I forget what they call them, but get you pick one of three like factions, and it determines kind of what kind of income you get whenever they decide to send that shit out. Oh, that's cool, Gadget. Thanks for the lurk, buddy. God, I love this game so much. I'm already up to 2,000 in the gravity well, which tells me I've made some wise investment decisions here this last go around. God, I really just love this game. It's so fun. Mm. This is all your fault, you know that, right? Yeah. And every penny worth out of it? Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm considering uh, getting some of the, the add-on content, because it is free, and it's... My, I bought the I bought the cheaper of the two. The, uh... Because the other, one, the other one's here. like 20 bucks. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, the Enthusiast Pack, that huh. one's only like... I don't know, seven or eight dollars. Listen, I Everyone's feel like, like twenty I, bucks, and I'm like, Geesh. I feel like I will get twenty bucks out of this game. I probably already have, and I will probably get that one too eventually. For the moment. Let's see. So, are these like these multipliers and stuff? Is this all like permanent unlocks? Yes. Wow. What's what's the the dust gutter catches all dust that flies off the maps. Holy shit. All right, that's yeah, it seems a little weird to put that behind a paywall, though. Eh. I mean, you know, the, the stuff that flies off the map doesn't happen very often. I don't know. It's just, it's, I think it's just like a bonus thing. It stresses you out a bit. Yeah, that's fair. I listen. I like it because oh. I can just go wee wee. Tay, Tay, you made it just in time. Sort of. Who's throwing confetti? It's so the the gray is like common dust, and the yellow is sand dust. And then there's seven dust. Yeah, but you don't you don't you don't want any of that. Wear a mask for that stuff. That stuff is uh that stuff will get you. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah. Of course you'll never forget the name Gold Dust. Oh, here he goes. Everything ends up wrestling with you, doesn't it? What? Oh, it's not my fault, that was his name. I mean I know, I know. What do you want from me? I don't know. Let's go here. Let's go. Here. There we go. All right. Yeah, we can let this run. Okay. Let's uh. Suck it long. Suck it. Home. Yeah. The little. Shoop, 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 shoop. I love that. That's so fun. Ah, uh, all right. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, no, I I suck. I suck. I suck a lot. Yep, 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 yep. Uh. 
Uh. Oh. Um, all right, so I'll be back. Um, I'm scheduled to be back on Thursday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the, that's yeah. the, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there's a loaf. Oh, what you doing, baby? Is it bedtime? Loaf says it's bedtime. She gave a little chirp to tell me. She knows. She's the best loaf. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I may come hang out uh, tomorrow, or I might be in the Discord. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, hi, Karen. Oh, well, look who's look who's up late. Karen, I love you. We're gonna go who's see nine. Late? We're gonna go see nine now. Her remember nine stuff is PG thirteen. So be respectful. Be nice. If I hear anybody has caused trouble from here in nine's chat and. I will ban you. I will absolutely 100% ban you. Keep your penis to yourself. Yes, please, for the love of God. All right. Uh, yeah, you better. You better. All right. Yeah, yeah, there are the raid messages. Let's go see Nine. We go see her. Give her lots of love and stuff. Um, what we got going on in here. Yeah, she's she's making. She's making stuff. Don't worry, she's there'll making be- making whoopee! No, she's not doing that. That's toss, buddy. She is making- she is making a yarn chicken, though, as she tends to do, and she's going to, uh... Oh, the ad break started. God damn it. Anyway, alright. Uh, let's- let's just get out of here. Um, hey. As always, please, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you, um... soon-ish. Bye. Penis.